The world needed a hero, so powerful, with incredible speed. Akka the blue blur, embrace, that is, until he accidentally, and sparks the attention of supervillain evil genius Dr. Robotnik. Now it's supervillain versus supersonic in an all-out race across the globe to zero star star three two four two nine star three three seven five six star star outrageously small number six and this concludes another chapter of the way of the puce stoat by yuji naka perhaps we'll continue that next week Today, though, we have something slightly different. Welcome to another Sunday night Purblind Gamer stream. I hope everybody is having a wonderful weekend, what's left of it, or a wonderful Monday if nothing is left of it. And, <clears throat> yeah, and I hope everybody's ready to laugh a great deal because Strong Bad's cool game for attractive people is quite hilarious. Thank you very much for your top-notch writing and gameplay, Telltale Games. I haven't played any of your later, later games, but how good can this Walking Dead or Wolf Among Us nonsense be? I mean, it can't be better than Strong Bad. Mm. Yeah, they've had a fairly busy weekend. I actually went to a networking event today. Don't know how much networking I got done. And I also got some crap I have to finish up for work. There should be laws against your boss emailing you on the weekends. Of course, if a virus destroyed my email account, eh, we'll work on that later. But I appreciate everybody who came out to my last couple streams, which are both PS1 style horror games. Last night we played Blood Camp, which I think there were some technical issues, but I'm not sure. It might have been just connection being a little slow sometimes. Which is a, a recent indie game, but we finally managed to beat it. Pumped that evil pig-headed man so full of lead that, well, he died. And then on Wednesday, we played more of Resident Evil for the GameCube. And I don't know if we made any progress. We, we certainly died a lot. We got the shotgun. That's something. And I have no idea where to go in that game. But that's... I feel, I feel like that's the designer's intent, so I'm just respecting their intent by getting lost a lot and dying a lot. <clears throat> and today, we have... Hey, Angela! Yes, thank you so thank you for coming in, and it's good to see you. I hope your Sunday's been going well. Yes, we we turned that pig into bacon, metaphorically, because it was actually a human in a pig mask, as we probably all gathered, so it would be disturbing if we turned him into a physical, literal bacon. Is that even possible? You know what, we're not speculating about that sort of thing. The point is, the slasher villain is dead. Until the sequel. I mean, do slasher villains ever really die? If their movie doesn't do very well, then they die. Hmm. But you know, anything could get rebooted at any time, as the past 20 years have taught us. Though maybe 10 years we'll get Blood Camp 2, Wrath of the Pig's Head. <clears throat> and today, yes, today more Strong Bad's cool game for attractive people, which I absolutely love. The Zone Star Runner cartoons were fun, and the game has excellent writing and, yeah, good voice acting. I mean, you figure it would, especially since it had the guys who designed the original web series. And, yeah, we'll play through the second episode tonight. <laughs> um, oh, right. That was the other announcement. Um, I just saved a lot of money on my car insurance by just kidding, I don't have cars. I hope. No. Apparently, there are these things called community challenges, 
which people do on Twitch, where like you dump your channel points into something, and then if enough people dump their channel points into something, it comes to pass. So I finally started one in my never-ending quest to prove that I am a legitimate streamer who knows what he's doing. Yes. Our first channel points challenge is, or channel points community challenge is, force me to play an RTS game. Spoiler alert, I am not good at RTS games. I have only tried them once or twice, and I spend a lot of time going like, ah, I'm being overrun. This is why I play a lot more action and adventure games. Oh so yes, if you want to participate in the community challenge, you can force me to play Herzog's Five for the Sega Genesis, which I've been mean to play for a while. It's, oh, RTS is real-time strategy. It's basically, if you've ever seen Command and Conquer or Starcraft or Warcraft or Craft Beer, wait, maybe not Craft Beer, Dune, Dune 2, yeah, that's, that's a kind of, all, all the kids know Dune 2. Basically, you, it's not turn-based, it's real-time, and you manage resources and create units and build structures and scream in rage as the enemy's forces overpower you. Oh, I forgot, I did play Age of Empires for a while. A friend lent me a copy, and then I, yeah, he lent it to me in 98, and I gave it back to him in... 16? I am forgetful sometimes. But the point is I returned it. Also, I didn't do too well at Age of Empires either. I think I got like halfway through the, the easy campaign, which was the rise of Egypt. But yeah, those are RTS games. <laughs> no, I think it's a genre that a lot of people have a hard time with, because it requires a lot of critical thinking. But I've been mean to play Herzog's Vi for years anyway, because it's it's the original R, like RTS game and has a fair amount of an arcade component. Plus, it's for the Sega Genesis, and I sooner or later I have to play every game for the Sega Genesis that's not sports or turn-based strategy or other things that... Does anybody ever really play? I mean... Somebody out there must play sports games, or they wouldn't make a new one each year. Yeah. That's my theory. Oh, yeah. We'll see if people want to watch me suffer through an RTS. Huh. Mm. And, oh, yeah. Might as well turn off this sweet Magnolia's nonsense, because it, it's been greenlit a couple weeks now. For a while, I was trying to get people to watch it in every stream, because I'm like, hey, if enough people watch it, it'll get... The new season will get renewed. But now... It's out of my hands. Oh, I see. It's not capturing, because that's just the menu. Mm -mm. Episode 2. Strong Badia the Free. Your husband plays sports games, and you play Rocket League. <laughs> I know plenty of people do, I just... I think I hang out with a more action and adventure sort of crowd. Also a retro crowd. Uh, why is this not... Oh, right, different episode. It's a different EXE file. Hold on. Is that... Ah, there we are. Actually, let me increase the size of that ever so slightly. <laughs> I'm the same way. I never really watch sports. Strong Badia! Strong Badia! The Free! <laughs> the Free with you as a dictator knowing you a strong bad. Yeah, well, maybe I told different uh, episodes to run in different resolutions. That's my bad, anyway. Is that cut off slightly? Volume 
under my new game, everyone gets ice cream. <laughs> okay, let's see what the menu does. Savaload. <laughs> new game. Savaload. Scenes from the next episode. <laughs> to tire and quit it! <laughs> quit it! Volume, volume, widescreen, your vote counts! <laughs> yeah, yeah widescreen, we can do that. But we shan't. Oh. Hey, um, it's... No, I'm... I'm sure they've re-released it on Steam. I'm playing the DVD version from, like, 2009, which I got used at some point, but... No, actually, it's brand new. Well, it was till I opened it and installed it. But no, you can buy this on Steam now, and it's... It's one... I think you can buy pretty much all the old Telltale games on Steam or GOG, except for like their second poker game, the one with... Uh, characters from other games in it, because licensing nightmare. But yes, I hi I highly recommend this, just based on the first episode. I don't know what I've been told. Email's best when it don't scroll. Hey, Strongbad, what's the dumbest law the King of Town has ever passed? Don't you think you would be a better ruler than the King of Town? Your pal, Roy T, Castle Hill. Well, Roy D, it goes without saying I'd be a better ruler than the King of Town. But seriously, who wants that job? Stuck in a castle all day? Stuck making dumb laws? Probably stuck in the bathtub? No thanks, man. <laughs> and the King of Town's mostly harmless. Sounds sure, like he's stupid idea looking, right there. as the scientific diagram illustrates. But he stays out of my business, and that lazy fair approach to government is a welcome alternative. Oh, I think I'd like to go to the lazy fair. Aha! Uh -huh, caught your red gloved it! The king of town? How'd you get in here? In flagrant disregard of my new email tax, eh? One creamy ding snack cake for every email sent or received! Email tax? Email tax? Flagrant? Creamy ding? Oh, so you refuse to pay! Poopfit, administer the color of obedience! What are you doing? Hey, you're cut under that house out. arrest! Ow, you have freedom. the right to bribe me! Anything you offer will be eaten by me, whether cooked or raw! Try walking past that fence downstairs, and blammo! Hope you weren't too attached to that head! And one more thing! My map! I need that! This will make sure you stay put until you can pay up! Now let's ride, Poopsmith! Gotta go collect on my new pour a bag of jelly beans down my gullet tax! House arrest! The Poopsmith's oh, a badass this in This is the game. worst thing to happen to my style and a long line of bad things happening to my style! I gotta find a way out of here and give that uncharacteristically oppressive king of town a serious mustache pounding! Right, your head explode. <laughs> Mustache pounding. <laughs> well, that's really more. Strong mad. Strong mad. <laughs> those are the more creative uh, ways that they uh, reset. Uh, like uh, after the last game, the reason you don't have a map is because the king ate your map. No blood for creamy jeans. Oh, strong sad too. What are you guys doing here? Can't you see I got enough troubles? I'm a political prisoner. <laughs> That's why we're here, Strong Bad. This is a peaceful protest rally. Peaceful? Free Strong Bad. <laughs> no Texan without representing. Day the bats. I even wrote you a protest song. <laughs> Come on, everybody now. Can't you is her hear the guitarist the name? Is it Carol? We don't Karen? Like the king of town making people's heads explode. Ah, cruel and unusual! Um, hey, what is this? Hmm. Why'd you bring that ugly, misshapen stick? She organized the protest well. Not hey. Marzipan! <laughs> oh, that's a pretty good one. You gotta remember that. I'm talking about that stick hey, dangerously cringe. close to the invisible fence. 
<laughs> That's our orphigy and the king of town. Or orphigy. RPG. First person shooter. Orphigy? <laughs> that looks nothing like the king of town. Yeah, Buzzy Pan made us take all that stuff off. Right, Homestar. We're protesting the actions of the king of town, not the man himself. <laughs> Some Some strong Mad's cool game for attractive people. We was gonna burn it, but and after looking at that pathetic thing, our hearts just ain't in it. We wanna fry up the king of town, not stickball Jackson. <laughs> FPS in school. <laughs> How are you doing tonight, cringe? Oh, agreed, Angela. It's it's just great. <laughs> Are you losers just gonna stand around losing? Or help me get past that fence? That would be illegal. Oh, awesome. I can't go back to the joint again, man. I ain't going. We started a collection to help pay your back taxes. You're welcome. <laughs> Those snack cakes. Man, this is so unfair. I gotta write an angry letter to my doughy congressman. <laughs> Didn't you see the warning message about the new email tax? No, I didn't see the warning message about the new email tax. All messages from the king of town get intercepted with extreme prejudice by my idiot filter. But I say you all kinds of reminder emails. Idiot filter. Kind of like but I say you all kinds of reminder emails. <laughs> idiot, never mind. <laughs> uh, okay, we're done here. <laughs> These guys. Wow, Marzipan, you've outdone yourself this time. Oh, I see you really that. nailed the eyes. It's <laughs> like I'm staring into the king's beer-battered soul. <laughs> Wait, what is that? Giant. Let my people go! <laughs> I'm gonna have to get rid of that fence before I become a sickly pale shut-in like Strong Sass. <laughs> Power to the people! <laughs> Man, ain't that always the way? The one day an interesting package comes in the mail is the day you get put under house arrest for tax evasion. <laughs> I hate it when I get put under I ta uh, house arrest for tax evasion. How about you guys? Any uh, tax evaders in chat? Per Blind Gamer LLC advises you not to answer that without actually advising you not to answer that. Free strong bed! Hmm. Ginger. No taxing with Ah, uh, my trusty steed. Stooley, I'd ride you into email battle any day. <laughs> you compliment the quiet kid and he crosses your name off his list. No taxing without representing. Oh, because you complimented him and he had a list of people who didn't talk to him. <laughs> hey, thanks for the lurk. Uh, Angela, appreciate it. Save the bats. Forgetting. Oh, you can go back. We got a lot of emails. Yo, strong bad. Is Homestar still trying to find people to be in the Homestar me? I want to enlist, but only if he helps pay for college. Ready to Home fight Army. Ben F. Well, Benf, the Homestar me will take just about anybody. Where Homestar already blew their entire scholarship fund on an invisible time machine that I sold him. So sorry, <laughs> no college fund. Which bringeth me to my second point. I'm not thinking your biggest obstacle in college is going to be financial if you get my drift. I'd start figuring out where in your parents' basement you're gonna hang your Bob Marley poster once you move back in. <laughs> Oh, I, I got you, Angela. Yeah. No, no. No tax evaders here. We all pay our taxes as long as we can figure out how much to pay. <laughs> It'll make it easy. It's a good question. How strong is strong bad? Um, I don't know. Not as strong as strong mad, I'll say that for sure. Bonjour, strong bad. What's the deal with that Homsar guy? I can't understand a thing he says. Is he making fun of me? Confused, Paul W. Athens. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Bonjour, Le Paul. Nobody can understand a thing that Hamsar says. Theories abound as to the cause of this baffling <laughs> condition, <laughs> but one thing's for sure. He is, like the rest of us, regardless of language, creed, or beliefs, making fun of you. <laughs> so thank you, Les Paul, for bringing people together. <laughs> <laughs> Les Paul. Tina. Teen. Teen. Oh, yeah. Aqua Teen Hunger Force. <laughs> I did used to watch that. <laughs> yeah. There were some good episodes of that. But if you all start dropping F bombs, shut the fire up. Uh, Meatwad, that's not how you drop F bombs. Oh, that is so how he drops F bombs. <laughs> good show. <laughs> yeah, you all need to shut the fuck up out there. I'm trying to watch cable TV in here. Oh, pom pom. What's up, sexy strong man? I'm a liking of this one all out all already. Don't take this the wrong way, but we think that pom pom is the hottest. Is he available? Jules and Jess, noisy chewers. Yeah. Oh, ladies? Master yes. Shake. If I weren't already swimming in a hundred dollar bill shaped pool full of email offers from co educated females, <laughs> I might be offended. But I am. Splash! Splash! Emails! So I can afford to let Pom Pom have a little overflow action. I don't know about his availability though. He usually stops playing the field at around a hundred girlfriends. I wouldn't get my hopes up if I were you. Most of the girls Pom Pom dates have names that don't sound suspiciously like two dudes. Jesse the boy and Jules the Burns' great great grandson. P.S. You both look fat. P.P.S. Double burn. Jules the Burns'. Oh yes, Teen Girl Squad. We saw some of that earlier, last episode. But yeah, yeah def definitely a sus name. Cringe. And what is Master Shake the master of? <laughs> Jules the Verdes' great grandson. Okay, that's enough emails for now. <laughs> hmm. Wonder if they uh. Need any more staff riders on the uh, Homestar Runner? Cause uh, what? Fire off my resume. <laughs> okay, back to the real world. Gotta remember this date, the worst day in the whimsical history of wrongful imprisonment. <laughs> stupid king of stupid town. No oh, thanks, you look out representing. Prepare yourself, test commencing. Wait, what? I didn't oh. prepare myself. <laughs> strong I accidentally clicked on the light switches and we had a dis disco moment. If you're gonna beat me up, make it quick. I've got a full agenda today. You're in prison too, you know. What was all that noise about? Oh, great! Stuck under house arrest with no one but little Lord hmm. Fat Leroy, the most depressing kid brother ever left on the front porch by gross gypsies. That's never what? been proven! That's not very nice, Strong Fat. Remember that Strong Sad is his younger brother. Hmm. Ooh, it's got me thinking, Cringe. Has there been a. Aqua Teen Hunger Force video game and that worst video game in the world that they put out on Flash like in the late 2000s does not count the king of town put me under house arrest house arrest that's not fair seriously I mean wait why are you upset I was hoping you'd get sent back to prison and I'd get some peace I've got an unassembled model of the Con Tiki that's just waiting for your next incarceration. Con Tiki? Isn't that like some... monster from a 50s movie? Yeah, Con Tiki the Immortal Monster? Am I making that up? 
What's the best way to destroy an invisible fence? Well, if you can short out the transformer, then do that. Otherwise, burn. Hmm. Hey, wait a second. Is this something illegal? <laughs> no, it's a radio <laughs> call-in show <laughs> question. Hurry up so I can be the fourth caller. I don't want to get charged with aiding and abetting a criminal again. <laughs> again. But I'm probably Contiki. And and I'm getting I'm confusing with. Yeah, that was Call Tiki the Immortal Monster. That's what it was. Ooh. Strong Sad likes to call this his deathbed. I like to call it his wet the bed. <laughs> Does he have twenty sided dice on his bed? He said like do they sell 20-sided dice sheets? Because I gotta get some. I used to like Sloshy, until I found out they had short hair and glasses. <laughs> oh. Strong Sad's old <laughs> security blanket? Nice. Strong Mad's new athletic region towel. <laughs> Sparkling clean! Must have been Obsessio Depressio's turn to clean the bathroom this week. It's my turn every week. <laughs> I mean, it is your personal, like, bathroom strong head, so. <laughs> there. Oh, tomato slices. Yeah, it wasn't until it changed the angle that I was like, oh, that's what that thing is. I stopped looking through these cabinets after I found Strongman's <laughs> tube of below the belt paste. <laughs> Is that your disgusted noise? Hey, from who put the Muscle Face 2 movie poster up in the bathroom? Ah, <laughs> uh, oh wait, it just my reflection. <laughs> it is so conceited. Ah, oh, toilet humor. <laughs> oh, Strongman's Strong room. Strongman's room has been off limits ever since that crate of bug bombs mysteriously mm. went off inside his closet. <laughs> It should be all cleared out in about a month, though. Mysteriously. On the bright side, there are no bugs in Strongman's closet, so... It's I stopped looking through these cabinets Stop after trapped. I found... Mm. Okay. Where are we going to short out that fence? No, no, this way. Well, we're here. Nothing interesting. <laughs> Hello, Charlemagne. Strong sad suicidal houseplant. If only we had read his journal, we might have seen the signs. The plant had a journal? That's... I didn't know plants could write journals. I love how the fridge smells like rotting vegetables when there's never been a vegetable in it. <laughs> there's still that one jar of Mesozoic mayonnaise. What's in the cheat commandos O's box? A free sugar frosted eye patch! Just like the one fight car <laughs> wore in the episode Tickled Pink Eye. <laughs> I love the sound effects when you find something. It never happens when I find something in the stereo box. I haven't found something in the stereo box in years. I'm probably buying the wrong brand of cereal. You can withstand the otherworldly horror <clears throat> of Ugrug, the world's ugliest rug. Ugrug. Oh man, of all the weeks I could have picked to install steel bars on all the ground floor windows. <laughs> Or at least it stopped strong man sleepwalking. <laughs> How come none of the Dutch clever. masters ever worked in the medium of wood burning on tree slice? I don't like the way that hush puppy's eyes follow me when I walk around. Why do we have a picture of a hush puppy in the house? A big fat pillow filled with big fat dust mites. <laughs> hmm. Can I ever have too many dust mites? 
I know if I ran them in the dryer a few hundred <laughs> times, they'd shrink down to my size. <laughs> the key to surviving in prison is to not hang out in the laundry room for too long. Or Shiv City, as I like to call it. <laughs> Shiv City. And we're gonna Shiv City, cause it's two to one. You know we're gonna Shiv City, gonna have some... That's not Shiv City, is it? The couch is in pretty bad shape. I gotta stop sleeping so hard. <laughs> Oops. Tanks from the 23rd and 48th Battalion were flanked by tanks from the enemy's 56th Battalion. It was then that it's General channel. Smithfordshire revealed his secret weapon, a slightly larger tank. And we only get the history unleashed channel. This is torture. I mean, rather that than the history leashed channel. Drogdor continues to torment me with his brokenness mm. and not working osity. Gonna get that thing working one of these days. My crown from Blubbo's! Why did Ooh. they ever stop making the jalapeno and king snake meat double deluxe? Why? King snake meat? What? <laughs> I probably could have finished making Dangerous 3 by now if I hadn't spent so much time. Is a oh, well. well, I hope hopefully it's nothing serious, but thank you for coming in, Angela. I hope you have a good night, and I really pre always appreciate you hanging out. Is it weird that the stream had problems for you right around the time when I was saying that my landlord doesn't watch my stream? Maybe the landlord does watch my stream. Okay, I'm not putting up any video game posters in my room. Is there anything else here? Let's see, what game have I got queued up for the fun machine? Hmm. Math Ooh. kickers featuring the Algebros? Man, when are video games gonna learn? You can't learn from video games. Oh, well, I don't know. Has anyone played that one part of Sam and Max Hit the Road? So I guess they have a different game within a game each episode. Hmm. We got ninjas, bro. We must restore balance. I'll subtract. And I will add. Uh, but... Oh, Interesting. Uh, shit, algebra. No, wait. I'm the master of hand to hand arithmetic. <laughs> Ooh, this it requires some thought. X equals two. Uh, X equals. Oops. All right. <laughs> uh. 
4 minus x equals 3. All right! What's this? Polynomial boss fight attack! Oh, shit. I, 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 I don't remember. What? I don't remember this. Ah. Algebra. No. Punch! Mame! Oh. Quadratic formula, awesome! <laughs> Yay! I algebra. Level up! Equals three plus. I'm the master of hand to hand arithmetic! Haha, <laughs> pizza pie. Internet cliche. <laughs> All right. All right. Lame. I'm the master of hand to hand arithmetic. Ooh, we're almost dead. No, wrong. I didn't lose. <laughs> uh. Okay. That's fun. Back, back to the real problems here. Ugg rug. <laughs> there used to be a toy called Ugg Bugs. Ah, uh, the smoke detector. AKA, the place to find a spare 9 volt. <laughs> and, uh, if my landlords are watching this stream, then, uh, we totally don't treat smoke detectors like that at this house. No, we treat them as places to find spare AAA batteries. Maybe we should treat them as places to- SHUT THE FUCK UP, AIRPLANE LION! They're gonna get me evicted. <laughs> An invisible fence that makes your head explode when you cross it. Seemed like such an awesome idea when I recommended it at the last town meeting. <laughs> okay. So. Mm hmm. Alright, you can't combine items in this game. Why do I keep forgetting that? Where's the eye patch? Oh, okay, that that's, that was just a like photo item, not the use within the game item. Uh. Hmm. <clears throat> At the very least, we can drop that uh, crown on the effigy's head. Complete suite of Edgarware anti spam, mm -hmm. anti virus, anti malware, anti mail, anti productivity, and anti disestablishmentarianism software. <laughs> Edgarware? Really, that's a joke I ought to get. Something specific. Yo, blood! Do 
stupid crown that gets the king all up in my grill acting like he owns the place or something. Check. Hey, to cheat. What's red and fat and smells like rancid meatloaf? <laughs> no, the other thing. <laughs> Uh, what? I'm sorry, what did she just... Yo, blood for creamy things! Red. Is the king dressed in red? Royal robe and size husky? Check. Okay, I, I get it. The cheat's helping assemble it. Save the Good old cheat. He's so nice when I'm not kicking him. And now, oh, the diagram on the wall helps us, doesn't it? The king's morbid obesity, check. <laughs> I better not. The last time I tried to use the detector indoors, it microwaved off Strong Mad's eyebrows. We couldn't tell how mad he was for weeks. <laughs> he, but he, he's always mad. Look at him. I want your soda. Still not quite king of town like. I better consult my highly scientific schematic diagram. I've almost captured the king of dorks with dorkulous visage, but there is still much work to be done. He's a beard. Dot. A beard. I've almost captured the king of dorks with dorkulous visage, but there is still much work to be dork. I mean, done. <laughs> I want your soda. Hmm. The king of town put me under house arrest. House arrest? That's not fair. Seriously? Uh, I was hoping thing. you'd get... I've got an honest... Hmm. <laughs> Strong Man's room will be unlocked next episode, perhaps. Sparkling clean. Must. It's mm. my turn every week. Mm -hmm. Wonder if you could carve tomatoes into twenty-sided dice. Now that I think about it, that would be messy. Okay, where are we going to find a beard? They call that an effigy of the king of town? I can make a better one with one eye tied behind my ear. <laughs> That's... One eye tied behind your ear. Let's not think about that too hard. I don't think that's... I love how possible. the fridge smells like rotting vegetables when there's never been a vegetable in it. usually keep all my trophies and awards, but uh, they're all out at a ceremony right now getting trophies for being such good awards. <laughs> oh man, wish I hadn't used up the last of my paper drawing that scientific diagram of the king of town. I guess the next issue of Teen Girl Squad will have to wait. Oh. Through here, With maybe. just a bed and a little imagination, home organization is a breeze. <laughs> About all this nothing doing is wearing me out. 
Maybe I should go downstairs and take a nap. I wonder if there's stuffing for the couch. Could Those be are penance from various academic institutions, unaccredited and discredited alike. Ah, couch stuffing. Oh man, I knocked the stuffing out of the couch again. I gotta stop having those dreams where I'm trapped in an elevator with Milkmaid Homestar. <laughs> yes, we're, we're not even going to ask Strong Bad. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I think if we just go upstairs and toss it to the cheat, our cave down in effigy will be complete. The king's ridiculous looking beard that's supposed to hide his lack of a jawline. Check. <laughs> oh, hello, king of town. It's him! It's the guy! Burn him up! Burn the king! Oh well. Take him out, boys. <laughs> uh, the cheat? <laughs> Sweet, recently divorced Lady Freedom! Onward <laughs> to Strong Badia! Strong Badia, the free! Hey, that's the name of this. Shut up. <laughs> so I guess the burned up our friends and losers. On the tax. My Ooh. long incarceration has hey, taught me that we can never be truly free until we reject the fat authority of the King of Town. Hence to forthwith, I shall only refer to him as the Of Town. As of today, Strong Badia is its own independent nation. <gasps> the cheat, if you will. We shall all live in a place where we are free. Free to pick our friends. Free to pick our noses. And most importantly, free to pick our friends' noses. That's why I, Strong Bad of the Mighty Tidy Whities, mm. declare war on the Of Town. Who's with me? Where'd Ooh, everybody go? Seceded? I can't do that. I'm the only one who gets his own country. Didn't succeed, they ran away. Though conspicuously absent is Bubs. Wonder if he's a loyalist. My lands have suffered greatly during my wrongful imprisonment. Already my beautiful nation defiled by litter. Aha! This maps and minions board will be perfect to plot my course to world domination. There's borders here and the ocean. Gather topological data from the survey team. Put a dragon here and perfect. If I'm here and I want to get to the of town and his stupid castle here, hmm, I'm pretty much gonna have to lay waste to everything and crush all the free nations under the steel-toed boot of the strong Barian Empire. I better get crack a lacking. Pom pom per pom pom Urania. <laughs> Steel belted traitor. The cheat and tyria. Nastiest name for a country I ever heard. So the cheat seceded too, huh? Hmm. Strong Sad's old Maps and Minions board game. The cheat's been trying to melt all of the game pieces together to make a super soldier. <laughs> and ho, oh, what's this? Perfect strong body and currency. Money. I'll call them quesos. <laughs> We've got an economy now! Hmm. An economy based on quesos. Damn it, now I want cheese. And this game has plenty of it. 
There you are, the cheat. Let's go. We got an empire to build. <laughs> what? <laughs> you can't secede from Strong Badia. It's it's treason. <laughs> Fine then! What's your boring loser country for boring <laughs> losers called anyway? <laughs> the cheat and tyria? Uh, you might want to rethink that one. <laughs> hmm. You gotta know you're my right hand to cheat! <laughs> what if I make you my second in command? <laughs> Oh, oh. Where is that on the secession thing? All right, all right. I know there's been some tension lately. Things were said. I maybe kicked some things I didn't mean. <laughs> but come on, what's strong patio without the cheat? <laughs> After all I've subjected my loyal subjects to, this is how you treat me. Even you, Tyre? Oh, that's just cold. <laughs> Oh yeah, from the cartoons, that's, that's kind of a thing. The strong bat always kicks the cheat. Come on, the cheat! You know the good times we've had. Remember back when we stapled that grilled cheese to Homestar's chin this morning? <laughs> I'll let you spend the night in the crisper drawer <laughs> while it's still in the fridge. That's. <laughs> That's, that's an incentive. You know you're too small and weak to take on the Strong Vadian army. <laughs> oh, yeah. Strong Vadian never built an army, did we? But, but there's me. I am the army. Yeah. We were asking earlier, how strong is Strong Bad? <laughs> hmm. Concession stand. Bleak house. Mm. <laughs> you beat trog doors. <laughs> the, the king. Pom Pomerania. Exotic land of enchantment, mystery, and ladies' drink specials on Tuesday nights. <laughs> I quickly made my way to a trendy party club in the nation's capital, a trendy party club, for a summit with their Popomatic Prime Minister. Club Techno Chocolate? Hey, strong man. Hey, there's Bubs. Bubs? You're the leader of Pom Pomerania? Heck no! I'm just tending bar and doing some occasional translational work. And I'm mm -hmm. definitely not embezzling thousands in cash from the club. How sweet of you. <laughs> He's definitely embezzling thousands in cash from the club. Hmm. That must have come from one seriously strong, mad-sized bottle of cold ones dry. <laughs> oh, wait, the box. What's underneath it? Page four of my Algebra's instruction manual. Ooh. This one unlocks the mysteries of the divide by zero move. Ooh. So, uh. L'Hopital. I was occasionally paying attention in college algebra. I mean, calculus ten years ago. What are you doing in Pom Pomerania, Bubs? Oh, I was stationed here after the war and fell in <laughs> love with the place. B the war? Say, Barkey, got any tips on how I can get Pom Pom to join my evil empire? You're gonna have to impress him first, and that ain't gonna be easy. His royal coolness shogun Pom Pom has taste, class, style, and panache, all out the royal wazoo. <laughs> Ew, sounds painful. <laughs> so what I gotta do? Outcool him? Outcool, gulp, his wazoo? <laughs> Not while I'm bartending. No, the way to impress the Shogun is to look cool on the dance floor. That'll be easy. I look cool on all types of floors. And I can dance like a robot programmed to dance like a good dancing human. <laughs> well, good luck. But I'll tell you, it'll take more than just dancing out there. I don't care what type of robot you are. Oh boy. 
I'm gonna use that my DDR pad. Give me one of those obscenely overpriced drinks, bubs. What'll it be? Which one tastes the best? Taste? It's not about taste. Son, you're in Pom Pomerania now. Where being cool is all about holding the right drink. So which is it? Uh, do, do we get any hints about that? Ooh. This looks just like the sort of thing you could throw on the ground and make an explosion with. I want the most expensive, glowingest drink you got. Aha! I've got just the thing. The Atom Smasher Guarana Blast! A personal favorite of the Shogun! Why, why is Pom Pom the Shogun? <laughs> the Atom Smasher Guarana Blast! This weekend, treat yourself to something chemically unstable. Please drink irresponsibly. <laughs> Check it out! Nothing that glows like this can't not be cool! Why, you think I'm a poser? Whatever, man. I was over these normal glowy drinks years ago. I was just, uh, showing you how much it sucked. <laughs> you gotta give me some pointers on how to dance cool, bubs. Cool dancing can't be taught, strong man, but it can be bought. Oh. How you much? gotta give me some pointers on how to... Cool dancing. <laughs> Give me one of those obscenely overpriced drinks. What'll it be? Yeah. What is that one in the center? Yeah, well, let's go with the bottle. Bottles are classy. Give me a tall, frosty cold one. This is a classy place, strong man. We only serve cold ones extra stout black. Ten pounds of wheat in every bottle. <laughs> That's, oh, that was a very heavy drink. Cold ones, extra stout black. Hmm. So rich, thick, and dark, you can't believe it's a liquid. <laughs> Building a powerful empire builds up a powerful thirst. Hmm. I love these endorsements. Say, Wolves, can you do any cool tricks with these bottles like in the movies? You mean like smash one over the counter and stab a guy with it just for asking me dumb questions? Uh, no, I meant like juggle. <laughs> Cold ones light. Hmm? Half the calories, half water. <laughs> so, basically the same principle as uh, reduced calorie juices in the supermarket. Yeah. That's how they do things. Eh, might as well try the, try the third drink while I'm here. Give me one, what'll it be? How about a thin, overpriced can of bull honky? One energy sauce coming right up. Oh, that takes me back. I remember mm, when people sauce. thought it was cool to order bull honky. <laughs> it's too quiet all up in here. Bull honky calf energy sauce. The thin can energy drink for people so cool they don't need to use their eyelids. Bull honky? Two years ago, calf energy sauce never goes out of style. They don't need to use their eyelids, though. No. <laughs> Man, I don't know if a country without a DJ is even worth taking over. Hey, Havoc, welcome in. How are you doing tonight? You guys should check out RDM Havoc, who's a variety streamer who streams most weekdays and does different game each day usually. And his streams are always fun, especially when he's unboxing big boxes. Yes, Sniper Elite Four. No more Fallout. Oh, you finally beat Fallout New Vegas. Hey, good for you. But uh, have you beaten Fallout 1 through 3 yet? And if you haven't do it, done it on stream, have you actually done it? Hmm? I'm just saying you could probably find more Fallout if you wanted to. <laughs> How's your weekend being, Havoc? 
How am I supposed to bust moves if nobody's busting any grooves? Mm -hmm. Ooh, glow sticks. These are the glow sticks the cheat gives out when he's spinning at the club. For years, I thought these were those waxy soda bottle candies. Then my doctor told mm. me my stomach had a half-life of 302. <laughs> oh, that's great havoc. Yeah, it's never good when your doctor talks about your stomach's half-life. How am I supposed to bust moves? Hey, you pumps. That's Emperor Strong back to you, but let's cut to the chase. Your glowy LED-infused nightlife and cooler cell phones amuse me. We should discuss an alliance. <laughs> Not cool enough? You gotta be kidding! Before I became emperor, I served three terms as the malarkey of cool. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have to back up them fancy words with fancier actions if you want to impress the shogun. The malarkey of a cool. <laughs> What are some of Pompomerania's chief exports? That's pretty cool. I love those. What else? Dang, seriously? With the red tips and everything? Whoa, is that even legal? Or ethical? Or physically possible without the use of time travel? You should have seen them before the United Nations got involved. <laughs> One can only imagine. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. We gotta find a DJ. Hmm, it's a razor sharp decorative samurai sword. Ooh. I bet that thing could Julian a phone book into a tin can. <laughs> Apparently, Pom Pom buys his dresses at the big and round men's shop. <laughs> and then puts them on the wall of his club. For some reason. Hmm. Bumps? Didn't. Hey, you potentator! Welcome to Concession Stantinople! Oh, Bubs, <laughs> you made your own country, too. Technically, it's an autonomous commonwealth, but you got the right idea. <laughs> uh, commonwealth is different from normal places. Trust me, I come from the Commonwealth of Virginia, and they don't let you forget it. Or really know what it is. What are you selling, Bubs? I got all kinds of cheap, completely legal, touristy junk, and it's all 100% legal. We got cheese, and watches, and chocolate, and cheesy watches, and chocolate-covered cheese. Where are you getting all this crap? Oh, I've been everywhere, man. From Cochnia to Poop Slovakia. I can tell you a thing or two. The Poop Smith, um, too. Um, <laughs> tell me. No. <laughs> and tell me. No. you get back here so fast from Pom Pomerania? I got a rail pass! <laughs> and that's all there is to it. You gotta join Strong Bad you, man! This is neutral territory, Strong Bad! Oh, I'm sorry, Miss Wishy-Washy Little Girl. Is the man who actually makes decisions at home? <laughs> Ain't no money in taking sides! <laughs> um... Some, sometimes there is... Yeah. Yeah. So Never all mind. you got is cheap souvenirs. What about all the cool spoils of warring nations divided by political unrest? No way, strong man. You won't see me selling stuff like weapons and fake IDs and harvested organs. Okay, but say I... I'm not done. And illegally excavated artifacts and unlicensed merchandise and pirated DVDs. <laughs> you wouldn't download a car. Now I'm done. Okay, but say I was looking for that stuff. Oh, you're looking for the black market. Don't know where that would be. Wink. Hmm, very intriguing. So, where's the, where's the black market? Come on, Bubs. Okay, Bubs, give me one of those cheap souvenirs. 
Sorry, I'm all sold out of the good stuff. All I got left is this clockwork strong bed. I'm to the place where the tropical breeze is blowing. Oh, nuts! Cheap foreign made family. Tell you what, how far? How far? How could I resist? <laughs> how are you gonna pay for with strong body and currency, of course. The most moist and juicy of all barely legal tender. 100 quesos? That's gotta be at least a million poopies. Keep the change, my good man. Buy yourself something dangerous. Oh, some more. That's an odd sensation. <laughs> mm. Mm, that could actually be helpful with our dance moves. Concession stand to Nopal. Population savings. Question mark. I don't think he understands how population works. Hmm? Whoa, must have wandered into the wrong side of town. Uh, hello, stranger. Is this the place to pick up my packages from the legitimate sweepstakes fulfillment center? Oh, what? Publishers no, yes. strong bath. This is the black market. <laughs> what do you have? Weapons, <laughs> artifacts, organs? Mm hmm. Organs, you say? Hook me up with some heavy ordnance. I got a de of town to depose. No can do, strong lad. Just got through shipping out the last of my weapons. Ah, not I'm even one old. bazooka flamethrower that throws throwing stars. Nope, send those out to Cochnia. Are they having troubles <laughs> with the Fahugwagati rebels? <laughs> what are these artifacts you're talking about? Cochnia. Got one left. From an illegal excavation in the Hamsa Reservation. They say it's priceless. Okay, how much? <laughs> I said it's priceless. No way I could just sell this to you, but I could trade it. Trade it for what? Well, I'm out of just about everything, so make an offer. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I'm in the market for a new organ. Something in a pancreas. Or a tasteful gallbladder. <laughs> Fresh out of Oregon, strong man. <laughs> Tasteful yeah, gallbladder. This bladder. is pretty much the worst black market I ever seen. Don't blame me. This is the king of town buying them all up. I don't know what he's using them for. He's probably building a mutant mm. army of the undead. I want a mutant army of the undead. He keeps calling uh -huh. them giblets for some reason. But I don't care, because he's driving the prices mm. way up. If you can get anything, even Jibbles. tonsils or a nice pretendix, it's worth a fortune. Any condition, no questions asked. You're a shady, shady character, Bubs. <laughs> it's cool in the shade. <laughs> Isn't it, though? Hmm. What do I trade for yon artifact? This is no time for a rave, light switch or otherwise. <laughs> Oh, that's that's one of the lead I thought that was the metal detector. Even a tiny, unlicensed version of me is too awesome for him to handle. Hmm. <laughs> right, I keep forgetting we can run. Hello, the cheat. Entire Ia. All right, all right. I hereby name you my vice de cheat, successor to all the strong body in Empire. Except that patch of dirt over there. <laughs> I traded it to Strong Mad for one of those giant gummy foots. Ugh, hmm. He definitely got the better deal. What do you mean, official proof? Are you applying for a passport or something? They still make gummy feet. They used to have gummy foot candy around Halloween. Why would you want to leave Strong Valia? 
What about the tropical breezes? The cold ones? The probably lots of chocolate? I've always appreciated you. I appreciate that little squeak you make when you get kicked. I appreciate that fresh mountain spring scent you get when I take you out of the dryer. Of course you're important. You convert carbon dioxide into oxygen so we can breathe. Oh, right. That's plants. Well, whatever. Come on. What do you want from me? We don't know what he's saying. We don't know what he wants from us. Damn it. Speak, if not English, at least intelligibly, the cheat. We need to make him just warp. Oh, hey, that's our house. We live in the bleak house. Oh. From TPA. I wasn't expecting any packages. Hey, the pilot wings the Transplace Airways people awarded me for finishing a flight without crying. Uh, I mean for landing the plane and saving everybody on board and making out with all the stewardesses after the pilot uh, got a Charlie horse that I gave him. <laughs> Just keeps escalating. Hmm. It's the cover of the instructions for math kickers Ooh. featuring the algebras. I'm glad I had the foresight to tear up the book into individual pages and hide them around the neighborhood, mailing the cover to myself in case I ever had to secede from the municipality <laughs> and unite the country under strong body and rule. <laughs> yeah, but otherwise the king might have gotten hold of the instruction manual. We all know how valuable uh, video game instruction manuals are. Uh. Alright, that's where we are. That's why I won't. Is there anything in the house we could trade? to Bleak House, a constitutional monarchy, rich in tradition, and low in saturated fat. That is clearly not true. Yes, yes. I trust you've come to negotiate a peaceful trade agreement between our great nations? I've come to negotiate a violent military coup between your mouthy and shut up a stand. Hey, you can't push me around anymore, strong dad. I'm king of my own nation now, and I've got all the documentation to prove it. <laughs> Your mouth, yeah, and shut up the stand. <laughs> Welcome to Bleak House, good sir king. A proclamation to prohibit the burning of essentiale items. Yeah, I'm the law now, and there'll be no more of you and the cheat ruining all my stuff and undergarments. Hmm. The Constitution of Bleak House, Volume 1. You can't have a country without a constitution, so that was the first thing I made. A souvenir flag from Black House. I had 2,000 of them made specially for my inauguration. Hmm. It took my entire life savings. We missed your inauguration. Ooh. Uh, it's saying we got a new item. Only Strong Sad could make a flag both depressing and so utterly forgettable. Thanks. It took me forever to make. I don't know. I like the two bats. <laughs> Wait, what's this? Who left? Not interested. It's the dull fake sword Strong Sad uses for his shudder. 
live action role playing. Ooh. Never before have PVC Lock pipe it. and duct tape forged so mighty a blade. Strongman's room has been off limits ever yeah. since that. It should be off. Who is Strongman? He'll form his own country at this point. The lasting peace between our nations. Or like the lasting shut up between our nations. Hmm. Where'd the flag go? Where's the flag another one of those? something for this. Hmm. The flag, I mean. Oh, no, wait. I'm just trying to look at the poster. It's empty. <laughs> oh, I guess he gave away all the other flags. for that ancient artifact again. Can't sell it, strong bad, but I'll trade it if you can find something valuable enough. Oops. Define value. He's done nothing to deserve these. <laughs> Give me for a cool duct tape forged weapon like this one, Bubs. For that old piece of junk? Nothing. You gotta trade me something valuable. Hmm. We don't have anything valuable. Stupid to cheat thinks he deserves more recognition. I recognize that he's being a hmm. severe butt pain. What does he want, a medal? Oh, I appreciate the hints here. <laughs> a souvenir flag from the cost-conscious nation of concession stand. Hmm. I guess we're going to have to try and find flags from every nation. Maybe this will mollify the Stupid that Jade thinks he thing. deserves more recognition. I rec- <laughs> With this Medal of Honor, I appoint you, the cheat, commander of my secret sauce police. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put this family feud behind us, old friend. Act now and maybe I won't have you hanged for heinous war crimes. <laughs> <laughs> My lighter! I knew getting you back wasn't a total waste of space and time. Dateline Strong Betia, a nation long devastated by civil war. Brother against brother, tire against cinder block. Now the long national nightmare is over. Thanks to one charismatic leader. Strong Bad, your star is on the rise. <laughs> I 
love these newsreels. I assume he won't take the lighter. to see him not not on fire but not 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 now <laughs> mm, entirely too many negatives <laughs> anything to remember everybody's doing it strong by you bubs Good! After you drive your economy down the toilet, everybody's gonna need to buy toilet paper from me! <laughs> How'd you get back here so fast from Bomb Pomerania? <laughs> I got a rail pass! And... Oh, two maps. Ooh. A collectible souvenir flag from Strong Badia. Oh. I always knew you were loyal to me, brick wall. Ooh, glad I wandered around. The Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. <laughs> Republics? Really strong bad. <laughs> Despite all the political upheaval, everyone recognizes the stick as hallowed ground. Oh, so we can't just take it. Can we burn it? Can we burn the hallowed ground? That's not flammable! Here I was, going all these years, thinking that wood was flammable. Someday, friend whale. Someday. Wait, what did he say? Give away your brother, please. <laughs> Sound quality on that whale is terrible. Page three of my algebra's instruction manual. This one teaches the lethally educational logarithm attack move. <laughs> Hmm. Anyone did find all the ones in the first episode. The People's Republic of Frontal Fence. Bitter rivals of the Back Fence Revolutionaries. <laughs> the Back Fence Revolutionaries. Struggling to overthrow their Frontal Fence oppressors. Are we going to have to sort out the conflict between two different sides of a picket fence? Is that where this is headed? Hmm. Whoa, this place is way roomier on the inside. It's like it distorts time and space. Oh, hi, space. <laughs> TARDIS photo booth. How the hell was I supposed to know that was there? Good thing I wander around. Today we're making the cheat à l'orange. It's considered a delicacy in East Strongbadia. <laughs> yeah, just made lies, and now we're thinking of killing and eating him. Oh, okay, I guess this is just for you. Change costumes. Ooh, shoes. Ooh, mustache. Huh? Ah! Dude, what is this? Toe jam and Earl? The 
cheat? Yeah, I want my picture taken. <laughs> Hang on, I'm gonna need some help. The paper, take a note. <laughs> There's some secret around here. Hmm. Looking good. <laughs> oh, he's modeling. <laughs> You're on the flip side, you cheat. The magical physics bending kingdom of Snapshotland. Is it just to the map? Yeah. Mm hmm. Even our trusty, somewhat rusty car, torn apart by political unrest. Even our trusty... Jeez, two nations in one car. Okay, they're going to spank the strong bad here. Let's go burn the constitution of uh, Bleak House. Now that we have fire. Well, we are practically a Trogdor ourselves. Hello, Welcome brother to mine. Bleak House, good sir king. I've still got the other two. Mm. And this is why you make carbons when you write a constitution. <laughs> hey, don't... Aww. Well, I suppose hmm. I could become a vassal state. Man, I'm already on fire! <laughs> you... To lasting peace between our nations. The Shut up. Case. An ancient scroll with an ancient drawing of an ancient tar pit. This gives me a great idea for the Teen Girl Squad. <laughs> if we ever get to draw more Teen Girl Squad. Won't burn. Oh, okay, good. The occupation begin. Well, you can burn whatever you want, but you'll never put out the fire in my people's hearts. Ah, a resistance movement. How <laughs> quaint. I trust you've heard of my secret to cheat. <laughs> All right, I give up. 
I'll be usurped by strong Badia. Secret the cheat. Today, Black House. Tomorrow, the world. Can I at least be your cultural advisor? As long as that doesn't mean you follow me around everywhere and waste my time trying to talk to me. <laughs> Actually, that's exactly what it means. Blake has surrendered in a humiliating display of not courage. His lordship, King Coolberry's strong sad Alan Poe the first, did everything but collapse into heaving sighs when confronted by Strong Petty's superior military fists. Better luck next time, Doe Boy. <laughs> Okay, strong said. Maybe you can DJ. Alright, Lumpy. We've got to go annex some more countries if we're gonna attack the of town. Wherever you go, I will follow, my liege. Uh, don't call me my liege. I don't think there's anything else here. I haven't even seen what Marzipan and Strong Mad have gotten up to. What well, could Z? Why the poop smith? Oh, wait. Our home star. Why do we come to the Hamsa Reservation? Even I think this place is boring. And they don't even speak our language. It is a barren land, yes. <laughs> Which is why I, Baron Von Fitzmypex, <laughs> need to conquer it. Can't we just go around? I wanna go home. Pudding. Look ho! A floating man! I'll move in closer and convince him to join the bad guys. Can we go back home now? It's like in spitting imagery boot. The creepy alien sucks out all the Prime Minister's thoughts and then the Prime Minister's just like, pudding. And all the others are like, it's so nice to have the old Boris back. Greetings, Floatyman. My name is called Strongbad. I need to get through your land so I can clean the of town's clock. <laughs> Do you understand? I'm a knock knock joke about jogging suits. I'm no Linguinius, oh, but I'm pretty sure that wasn't a yes. Linguinius. I think your weirdo country could really use Strong Badia's resources. Think of what you could do with our dirt, our tire, our superior fence building skills. Pucker up, Dice Man. I'm as upholstered as I wanna be. <laughs> what? Is that a yes? <laughs> I'm as upholstered as I wanna be. You've made that bountifully clear. I'm an all expenses paid vacation. <laughs> Sign me up for soccer class, Debra. Weird. I almost understood that. <laughs> yeah, different languages. What is the deal with that rock with the glowy popsicle sticking out of it? Now try some caked on makeup from yesteryear. <laughs> Mmm, caked on makeup from yesteryear. That sounds disgusting. A weird rock with popsicle crystals and a suspiciously obvious hole in the top. Could this unlock the mystery of the people of the Hamsa Reservation? And do I give enough of a crap to find out? Hmm. Hmm, didn't have anything that fits in the hole. Hmm, by deciphering these crude cave paintings and hieroglyphics, hmm. I believe I have unlocked the secret of the ancients. 
They were all hmm. dumb craps that couldn't draw a saber tooth as Rex to save their leopard hide wearing hides. <laughs> uh, let me show them how it's done. <laughs> Cave Girl Squad! <laughs> Cheerleader! Go and so! What's your face? The ugly one! Holla, Cave Girls! Today's the big mammoth hunt! And you know what that Holla. means? An in depth study of the indigenous megafauna? Some kind of weird CG-filled cable special? More parasites for my... It's boys, all right! It's always boys! <laughs> and I've got to look my best for my date with the captain of the mammoth hunting team, Og Augerson. <laughs> hmm. She's going to look her best. Machine gun. I wish somebody would invent written language so I could write Og a love letter on this sheet of blank paper. <laughs> a new ribbon! I want you making braids like I got on spring break! The floodplain mall is open for business! Let's hang out in the food court for the next epic! Word. Written word. <laughs> what is that? Hey. Hey, hmm. girls! Cheerleader! What the? Color kings! An in depth study. And I've got. These might go with what's her face in the second scene. A new ribbon! I want you making braids like I got on spring break! Is that? Everybody come check out the cutiolithic mammoth dress I scored! Stampede! Scored! <laughs> <laughs> the floodplain mall is open for business. Let's hang out in the food court for the next <laughs> epic. Word, written word. I wish somebody would invent written language so I could write all the love letter on this sheet of blank paper. That's a pen, I think. Yeah. Og, want to go on date? Do you spell Og with two snakes or a guy with a bear head? It's two snakes! Ow, oh, my iconic representation! <laughs> well, now just in hole. <laughs> One hundred million thousand a long time later! I got me a summer job to save up for a cute burial shroud! <laughs> Get back to work, or no drop of water for you this week. Crack! <laughs> uh. Dag dang! When is all gonna show up for our date? Feels like I've been waiting for years! 38,000 years, actually. Dreadfully boring, that. <laughs> Wonderfully preserved for future research! <laughs> well, bully bully for you. <laughs> oh, hey, the ugly one. Uh. Work smarter, not harder. <coughs> job at Unique Fashions Plus for this? A perfectly round stone? 
I can't imagine how this would ever lead to allowing boys to take me to exciting places in romantic fashion. Oh well. It's over! <laughs> not bad, but it's still nothing for the vandalized history books. 18 points. <laughs> yeah, well. Is this going to take much longer? Maybe we'll mess with that some more later. Ooh. These rocks are blocking the way. Maybe Hamsar knows how to get through. <laughs> Yes, but we cannot speak to Homsar because language barrier. Or can't we? Nah, same things. Looks like Homsar's written language is every bit as easy to understand as the spoken one. And that's as far as we can go. Okay. Mysterious <laughs> bush. Hey, it's a souvenir war flag from the Hamsar Nation. The flag of a proud, weird person. Rich in proud, weird tradition. Can we go back home now? Shut up. Don't touch that! It's a delicate medical instrument! <laughs> Is it a thermometer? You can't be too careful traveling in foreign lands! Uh, yeah, that's uh. Some parallels to be made there with something. Strong said, do you have to carry this huge trunk with you every time you travel? <laughs> It contains all my delicate mm. undergarments and the various delicate creams and salves I use on my delicate personal areas. Strong said, do you have to give me the jibblies <laughs> every time I ask you a question? Entirely too delicate for war, Strong said. Uh. Oh, is he not following us anymore? Oh, it's the cheek. Hey, Shogun, you look a little vanilla. How's about a little flavor? No fuzzy dice, Strong Bear. The Shogun thinks you look too empty handed. Oh, right, I did mention the cheat had the cheat had those glow sticks. What if we set an atom smasher on fire? Give me one of those obscenely overpriced tricks, Bubs. What'll it be? Give me another one of those glowy drinks. Hmm. Here you go. <laughs> hmm. That's not flammable. Well, you don't know till you try, do you, strong lad? The Atom Smasher Guarana Blast. Hang on, glowy rump shaker coming through. Come on! That was the righteous disc! Come on, Wrestle Man! You're not gonna form any alliances with a plain old glowy drink like that! Hmm. What if it were even hey, more glowier? One of those abs what'll it be? Give me 
Now we're talking. I yeah. bet you can see this thing from space. Hey, astronaut, <laughs> throw me down some freeze-dried ice cream. <laughs> and none of that Neapolitan crap. <laughs> I still have freeze-dried ice cream. Probably so in Washington, D.C. Uh, Smithsonian gift, shop, gift shops. Whoa! Now I can separate the strobe light honeys from the actual hot girls. And probably blind a few in the process. All right, Bob Bomb, prepare to be blinded by awesomosity! <laughs> I think we have the Shogun's Ooh, attention. Now that's what I call an entrance! Wait, you'll join Strong Badia? But I didn't even get a chance to show off my moves. Wait, while you're ahead! <laughs> We should all start brushing up on our awesome. Bomb Bomb, I want you to be the style advisor for my new empire. Not that I need one, but you market well to the valuable 7 to 36 demographic. <laughs> that is oh, I don't need any help with the ladies. Unless you know some, do you? <laughs> Hmm. Next on the itinerary of doom, the savage, warlike people of country. <laughs> country? Oh man, sounds like Strongman's getting held back another year, and his finger painting had improved so much. <laughs> I arranged a meeting with their brutal but just warlord. Now let's listen in. Is he just the... Country! <laughs> yes, strong man, I know the name. The question is, do you want to join Strong Badia? Diplomacy! This is never gonna work. I'm gonna need a translator. Hmm. Ah, there you are, the cheat. <laughs> Ask Genghis Kant here if he wants to join <laughs> Strong Badia. <laughs> the cheat's my best friend! Ah, so you're his best friend. It's all starting to make sense. Is it? Is it? The chief, ask what it's gonna take to get the big <laughs> guy to join Strong Badia. Mighty warrior! A test of strength and valor? No prob. I cheat on those all the time. <laughs> A terrible mm. monster laying waste to yonder countryside? Mm -mm. So I gotta slay the monster and prove myself a mighty warrior. <laughs> but where is this strong man? My Tarantula! Tarantula! Are we LARPing? I think we're LARPing. Feels spiders, man. If this fake sword is intended to not hurt fat nerds dressed like mages and paladins, I doubt it'll do the job on this cardboard. I'll need something sharper and much, much cooler. Hmm. Oh, wait. Shogun Pom Pom has a real sword. Gruesome papier-mâché skulls of the tarantula's gruesome papier-mâché victims. Wonder how he got marzipan to make that for him. I helped with our income tax! Oh. <laughs> and we're back to tax evasion. And income tax, which I assume was in, uh, cream cakes or churros or whatever. Gruesome arts and craftiness. Ooh, and this week's jumble. Hmm. 
What's that say, Tarantula? Oh, standee. Quake in the face of pure awesomeness, foul creature! Tarantula! Is he holding little tarantulas? Since we've joined forces, I'll just take this. I can't just take that samurai sword without Pom Pom noticing. Well, maybe if we pulled an old switcheroo. This strong bad moves like the stinky breeze. By the time you smell it, he's already gone. <laughs> to be fair, he wasn't looking at me at the time. A body blow would be useless against the beast. And ruin the resale value of a totally awesome stolen concert souvenir. <laughs> hmm. <clears> hmm. <throat> ah. Firehead. Ice head. Fire and ice. Isn't that like a weird DOS rail shooter by George R.R. R. Martin, who also made Tetris? I'm probably getting mixed up. Death swipe! Oh, head regrows! The head regrows! Hey. The head regrows? No fair! They both regrow? Hmm. Die, you corrugated fiend! No. Tarantula! Tarantula! Okay, so he only has one head now. Will fire destroy the ice head? I don't want to risk burninating the whole thing. I'm gonna have to find a way to get that head away from Strongman first. Hmm. The cheat? Did you let Strongman take my tarantula standy? That's from their sold-out A December to Dismember tour. <laughs> I had to bribe three roadies, two guitar techs, and like a dozen dark wizards just to get backstage to steal that thing. If that thing gets messed up... Mm. <laughs> how are things progressing back in the homeland? Anti-war protests from the tire, eh? I don't gotta explain my foreign policy to some left-leaning road hugger. That guy needs to be realigned. <laughs> realigned. What do you think of our slovenly enemy, the of town? <laughs> the cheat? I made you a secret sauce policeman, not a sailor. Where'd you learn to talk like that? <laughs> Yes, the cheat. Marzipan. What is that word you just said? <laughs> Gruesome arts and craftiness. Ooh, and this week's jumble. Hmm. I wonder if I can set fire to that. I want to set fire to everything. We will cleanse the earth with fire. Oh, oh that worked. <laughs> Fortunately, I have boxing gloves, and that means I can handle flaming objects. If elected evil emperor, I promise a flaming skull in every country, and soda in the water fountains. 
Yeah, baking soda in the water fountains. Even a tiny, unlicensed version of me is too awesome for him to handle. I don't want to dull the mighty sword's blade. I don't want to dull the mighty of the mighty sword. Hmm. What's that? Just a bone? Yeah. Arts and craftsy gruesomeness! Ooh, and last week's jumble! <laughs> burn! <laughs> Papier machi can takes a long time to burn in strong badia. Or in the country of country. Yeah, I could just burn them all, couldn't I? Oh, I could. Whoa! That papier is almost as flammable as regular manly paper. <laughs> Then knock the ice head into the fire. Your reign of terror ends here. Yay. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Why Why? The great beast will live on in the recycling bin of our hearts. <laughs> oh, I thought we were going to keep that standard. <laughs> oh, uh, Tony Stoney's your vice president. I see. Uh, sure. He can come along, strong man. <laughs> man! Tony Stoney's put on some pounds since he's been in office. How many st pounds about a stone's worth? This developing nation now waves a new flag, the strong Bedian empires. Their army taken over, their most endangered species driven to extinction. What can stop this red menace? Uh, menace. Red menace. Sorry, thought that was an Italian word. <laughs> Come on in. We're so glad that you made it this Ooh. far. Oh, it's just strong bad. Do you have any fruit to declare? What brand of idiocy have I stumbled upon here? This is the Free People's Republic of Marsistar, a hostile territory. Welcome to Home Japan. Home Star, <laughs> we've talked about this. It's Marsistar. No, seriously. Do you have any fruit to declare? <laughs> uh, no? Oh, you guys too, huh? So, dump tenant, ready to be the battle's first casualty? <laughs> you hush. I'm here to provide moral morale for the troops. <laughs> well, I guess you do make everyone else look leaner and meaner by comparison. Got any cool combo moves you could teach the troops, Pom Pom? The 12 point exploding rooster technique? That's probably overkill for the of town. Mm. I just want to underkill him. <laughs> so, exploding rooster technique. I'd pay to see that. Frank Benedetto fell in service to his country during the first battle of Strong Badia. Even though we were on different sides of that conflict, that soldier had real butter. You gotta respect that. <laughs> Ah, good old lug nut and squeak, reunited under the flag of strong badia. I miss you so. <laughs> <laughs> the chief does not sound like he's doing especially well. 
This land looks bountiful, but if onions are Mars the Star's only crop, I'm not signing up to be their breath smell ambassador. <laughs> onions. No wonder they need fruit. It's Marzipane's folky, i.e. crappily made, arts and crafts display. Hmm. Hmm. Does that say? Oh, Model UN. Huh. It's those high schoolers who take over college campuses once a semester. Oh, the lands will be united all right. Under my iron fist! <laughs> er, my cotton padded fist. <laughs> my cotton padded fist! <laughs> Is it Tony Stoney? A contribution from Pupa Slovakia. Uh, yeah, I'm not going anywhere near that one. Oh dear. What are these different things? All the greatest achievements of strong sad country. 20 sided <laughs> dice and cunningly designed dungeons. <laughs> he gets beaten up at least five times a day, and it's still not enough. And from the Hamsar people, a jar of cocktail onions wearing a top hat. <laughs> Why not? From Pom Pomerania, a half empty can of bull honky caffeine energy sauce. Nothing in Strong Mad's display, but some wadded up paper and the handle of a mug he tried to make in pottery class. Oh, hey, Techie Rob. Thank you for the host. Appreciate it. At the haunts materialize and begin to vocalize. Grim Grin and hosts come out to socialize. It's the display for Coachnia, yeah. and that means three things. Ointment, ointment, and more ointment. The display from Bub's Concession Stand in Opal. Looks like a half-eaten chicken wing. <laughs> and it probably is. Some would say the strong body in display is empty. I say it's minimalist. <laughs> hey, Homestar. Another loyal subject of Homes Japan. We gotta agree on a name one of these days. You look like someone who wants to unwillingly join a growing empire. You're like some type mind reader. Where do I sign? <laughs> who star? Oh, why? I apologize, good ambassador, but my treaty signing and bathroom privileges have been revoked. <laughs> Are you gonna let some girl tell you how to run your country? I thought we were bros. Wait, I thought I thought we were bros, and you're always beating various stuffings out of me. <laughs> I thought we were bros. Sorry, man. I know it looks like I'm the brain to this outfit, but my lady friend's got a good head on her shoulders. Um, nothing about that last thing you said was true. Uh, point of order, your lady friend doesn't even have shoulders. How can she have a good head on them? No offense, Marzipan. Aren't you tired of that at the of town cramping your style? Oh, you got that right. I don't like the way his castle sits up there, addressing me with his eyes. What are you gonna do when they invade? Invade? Home Japan? Call the militia! This is not a drill, people! <laughs> Do you even have a militia? <laughs> Holy crap, we're defenseless! <laughs> that settles it! I'm getting the band back together! I'm bringing back the home stormy! <laughs> what was that? Uh, I said I'm bringing back the peaceful home Japan gentle flower planting brigade deal. <laughs> I'm not sure Homestar's on board with all this pacifism. 
Hola, marzipound, or however you pronounce that. What is it, Strong Bad? I've got an awful lot of queening to do. <laughs> you and Strong Sad both. I want you two to join the Strong Badian Empire. And by want, I mean not want. But I can already tell I'm not getting through this place until you guys join up. No way, Pinochet. Mars Star is a peaceful nation. <laughs> no way, Pinochet. You must start saying that to people. You don't like the Elf Town. I heard you say so. Don't you need protection? With this castle looming overhead so ominously? We've got a peace treaty with the municipality, and that means one thing. You will never pass through Marzastar to attack the King of Town. Hmm. Jeez, it sounds like something the Belgian said in 1914. Too soon? Too soon. I bet King Homestar really wants to join Strongbadia and take on the castle. Yeah, but in about five minutes, King Homestar could really want to join an all squirrel football league. <laughs> you do have a point there. Put me in, coach. We can beat those chipmunks. <laughs> I didn't even know they had all squirrel football leagues. No, see, this, that could make sports interesting. That, that I would watch. At least for five minutes. Hey, what was that? What's with the crappy hmm. science fair project? That's my model United Nations. It's a testament to peace, equality, and sharing between all nations of the world, even yours. Equality and sharing? Barf! <laughs> that sounds vaguely communistic. Thanks, I know. I'm collecting treasures from all the developed countries, plus Koshnia, to go in the displays. All to say, this is what we can do when we work together. Vaguely communistic, you say? Hmm. I should probably want something from me. I'm keeping this little guy with me. Junior appreciates me for who I am. You say that. I'm and keeping yet. this little guy with me. Junior appreciates me for who I am. Flies in that mysterious bush. Yeah. As we can't go wandering around her house while she's outside. Wonder if Marzipan ever got that stink bomb I sent to. Oh, even better! Page two of my Algebra's instruction manual. This one details the icy hot polar coordinates attack move. Uh, <clears throat> <clears throat> Wait. Do we still have Tony Stoney? Yes. <clears throat> Try putting him in the mysterious popsicle rock. Is this <clears throat> going to take much longer? Oops. Shut up, strong sad. <clears throat> Tony Stoney's an important diplomat. I can't be throwing them around everywhere. <laughs> Tony Stoney's an important... A weird rock with popsicle <laughs> crystals and a suspiciously obvious hole in the top. Looks like Hamsar's written language is every bit as easy to understand as the hmm. spoken one. 
It looks like a cactus or a cinder block in a mailbox. Yeah, we haven't tried using the metal detector on anything, have we? May not help us, but there may be some funny results. A weird rock with popsicle yeah. crystal. These rocks are blocking. These rock. Yeah. What is the deal with that rock with the glowy popsicle sticking out of it? Well, try some cake on makeup from yesteryear. You're just saying the same things. I'm an all expenses paid <laughs> vacation. <laughs> Sign me up for soccer class, Deborah. Weird. I almost understood that. <laughs> Sign me up for soccer class, Deborah. Can we go back home now. <clears> hmm. <throat> Cut it out, strong bad. Yeah. Still won't let me use this thermometer. Can't we go home? It's hot, and I think I accidentally drank some of the water. Shut up! <laughs> Good talk. Uh. You're my cultural advisor. What can you tell me about this weird job and his gravity-defying ways? It's all a mystery. Some say ancient astronauts may have left him here, or <laughs> abandoned him, as the case may be. Well, they left him here. They obviously abandoned him because ancient astronauts have not been back. Can you understand what the natives are saying? Of course not. Nobody's <laughs> ever been able to decipher the Hamsar language. Archaeologists believe a combination of ancient artifacts may be the key. But no one's ever found them. Ancient Didn't artifacts. you learn anything in your post strong baddy and secession history classes <laughs> that I held in my room in a little <laughs> tent I made out of my sheets? I don't study history, friend. I makes it. <laughs> yeah, especially since we're in the middle of the history. Man, it's hotter than strong man's armpit cleavage up in this place. I could really use a cold one, or even a tepid one. <laughs> Don't remind me, I already drank everything in the canteen. <laughs> you drank the water? But it can cause dysentery, giardia, the vapors, Qatar, Libya, Mozambique! <laughs> and inflammation of the pretendix. I can already feel a rumble in my tumble. Well, <laughs> let this be a lesson. Don't drink the water. Are you feeling okay, Strong Sad? Hey, you don't look so good. I know I'm gonna get sick. It's acute aphasic pretendicitis. You made that up. No, I didn't. I drank the water. My pretendix is probably swelled up like a fully satiated vampire's blood sack. <laughs> acute aphasic pretendicitis? What are the symptoms of this made-up disease you think you got? First you get a really high fever, then you start mm -hmm. shaking uncontrollably. They say if it gets really bad, you can't even understand language. My prose, what'll happen to my award-winning prose? Hmm, how can these completely made-up facts become useful to me? I don't know, I don't want to have surgery in this backwards country. Okay. I think we know how to get him shaking. I'm gonna make him think he has a high temperature. I mean, is this too obvious? <laughs> nope. Ah, I'm burning up! According to this 
faster, mommy, too, or my skin should be <laughs> melting off. I hope I'm not coming down with something. <laughs> I better take my temperature. <laughs> C can't stop shaking. That can't be good. Does Tom <laughs> Sar even know what a hospital is? <laughs> uh, does he even know what the ground is? Because he's not on it right now. Tell me again. How can you tell if you've got this cute made up beside us? First, you get a really high fever. Then you start shaking uncontrollably. In the worst stages, you can't even understand language. Ah, uh, there. <laughs> can't you tell me anything useful about the Hamsar people? Oh. Archaeologists have been digging up ancient Hams artifacts for years, and we've only learned two things. They're mm -hmm. weird, and they talk funny. <laughs> they do. I'll never get out of here until you help me translate what this goon's saying. I'm a knock-knock joke about jogging suits. I told you, Strong Bad. Nobody's ever been able to translate Hamsar's quote-unquote language. Archaeologists believe a combination of ancient artifacts Good. may be the key. But no one's ever found them. Hmm. <laughs> Cut it out, strong bad. Hmm. hmm. We need to make him think he can't understand the language. Tony Stoney's an important diplomat. I can't be throwing them around everywhere. Don't have anything valuable yet, do we? Hmm. <clears throat> Since we saw that cave painting of the cinder block, we should check our cinder block in Strong Badia. Oh, the cheat's back. Hmm. Yeah. Restoring the glory of Strong Badia, one fearful citizen at a time. <laughs> Soon, soon, Bubs won't want our ambassador. So we'll need that for the Homesar reservation. What do you want for that ancient art? Can't sell it, strong man. Yeah. But I'll trade it if you can find something valuable enough. Stoney's an important mm. diplomat. Mm. We're going to have to walk around with the metal detector. Mm. And we'll make a quick lap of the area. Mm. 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 Mm.
run, strong bad, run. They're just the whale. It's next to the car. Yeah. Just look at it, the cheat! All around you! Strong barrier! From dirt to shining fence! <laughs> yeah, you're right. We need to take over a few countries with some better scenery. Yeah. We got something to paint that shining fence with, so it's a shining fence. Mm -hmm. Uh... A very basic tune. from the People's Republic of Marzestar. Let me guess, it biodegrades into an eco-friendly fertilizer. <laughs> hmm, well we found another flag. Oh wow, there's the King's Castle. That, that, that does look like something you don't want looming over you. Especially with that lightning. Uh, some would say the strong body and display is empty. Right. I say it's minimalist. I might want to break, or break wind on, your so-called United Nations. Well, you can put a national treasure in the strong Badian display, if you want. Just don't touch the others. <laughs> hmm. Is Tony a national treasure? From the country of country, a giant rock I've been impossibly keeping in my pants. Aha! The balance of power has shifted! <laughs> hmm. Hmm. The display from Bob's concession stand to Nopal. Looks like a half-eaten chicken wing. Okay, so we can't... Rearrange things more. Tony, Tony, what are you doing out here? Wouldn't you be more comfortable in the tight waistband of my inventory? <laughs> Aha! The balance of power has shifted! Hmm. Anybody? Cocktail onions, D and D stuff, mug ointment. We all know what energy drink. But Tony's the other thing. From Bob move, Bomberania, right? a half-empty can of Bull Honky Caffe Energy Sauce. Aha! 
the balance of power has shifted. Wait, now am I holding it? Uh... No. The display from Bob's. of power has shifted I'm gonna try one more see if this will break it aha the balance of power has shifted hmm The lands will be united, all right, under my iron fist! Er, my cotton padded fist. My cotton padded fist! things would help. Uh, Make Strong's dad think he can't understand the language. What if Homestar made you join Strong Badia? Homestar can't make this country do <sighs> anything. Completely equal co rulers of Mars Star, and what I say goes. <laughs> yeah, completely equal co rulers. I think I might want to break or break wind. Well, you can put a national treasure in the strong Badian display if you want, just don't touch the others. Hmm. This. What do you need for the home star me to help me take on oh. the of town? <laughs> We're gonna need soldiers. Lots of soldiers. Old Tofu and Sprouts over there will abolish the draft. And we lost too many good men in the last war. How many soldiers is lots of soldiers? Exactly five. How do you know your <laughs> colonel knows these things? <laughs> exactly five. Old Tofu and Sprouts. So that's now Mars Penn's name. Why don't you reinstate the draft? That's a great idea! <laughs> that's oh. right, folks. Once again, it's time for the Peace Draft! Homestar, tell the crowd what fabulous prizes today's winner will walk home with. That's... Well, Homestar, playing prizes is an all-expenses-paid trip to the castle and a meeting with the King of Town. Homestar, are you building an army without my permission? Yeah, I think Marzipan. Just my regular old brand of nothing. Quick, just spin the wheel! Tom Benedetto? Yo! Hasn't that family suffered enough? Well, the draft didn't work, strong man. Only one thing left to do. Clone an army of mutant super soldiers. No, Homestar, we... <laughs> Wait, that was an option? How come uh -huh. you come up with the unbelievably cool ideas only after I'm committed to this one? Hmm. Try the draft one more time. You should run that draft again, before it's too late! We may already be too late! 
and welcome back to Home Japan's Peacetime Draft Stravaganza. Let's see who's today's lucky winner. <laughs> lucky winner. Well, that's how we praise the draft now. Aww. I'm Benedetto! Yo! Hasn't that family suffered enough? No ghost, Wobo. Oh, keep trying. Hmm. It's the same. We flip it around. It's the same structure. How's both the model UN and the draft? So if we put Tony in there somewhere, it'll throw it off just enough. The wheel will land on somebody else. Maybe Marzipan. Who knows? Tony Stone is an important tip. Tony Stone is an important tipper. Aha! The balance of power has shifted! Everyone's oblivious to all this adventure game object swapping we're doing. Hmm. Quick, another draft. Run the draft again! Okay. And welcome back to Hope Japan's peacetime draft stravaganza. I think I misunderstood. Let's see who's today's lucky winner. Homestar Winner! I believe the winner is right here in our studio! I can't make me so fascist! Uh oh, looks like we got us an artful draft dodger, ladies and gentlemen! <laughs> yo, war! Yo, war! What are all y'all's fighting for? What is my major malfunction, private? Homestar, you can't draft yourself! Really? Wish I'd known before I signed up for this chicken outfit! Never mind! <laughs> No ghost, Wobo. Oh, keep trying. <laughs> oh, this is fun. We'll just put it in a different, uh, different slot every time, and something funny will happen. Tony, I didn't put you there. Oh, ah. they're in different positions. It'll take a while to try all of them. I'm sure the game will make it interesting. Okay, let's pour it, put it one over and see if it switches it to one, like an adjacent spot to Homestar. Aha! The balance of power has shifted! Hopefully not uh, the blender. Why don't you reinstate? That's a great idea! And welcome back to Hope Japan's peacetime draft stravaganza! Let's see who's today's lucky winner! Is that the cheat? What is that? Tom Benedetto? Yo! Hasn't yeah. that family suffered enough? No ghost, Wobo. Oh, keep trying. Put it on the opposite side. There's something that might be the cheat on the draft wheel. I can't figure it out, but if I put it over here, it might be. Oh, okay. Hey, gamer guys. Thanks. That's actually just what I was thinking, because it looked like. Coach Z's not here, and it can't be Homestar. And when we flipped it around, it looked like that's the opposite of what the other one's going to be. But how are you doing today, gamer guys? Aha! The balance of power has shifted! Once more, Homestar. You should run that draft again before it's too late. We may already be too late. And welcome back to Home Japan's peacetime draft stravaganza. Let's see who's today's lucky winner. Hello, 
Leo Bueno! Yes. Oh, Leo Bueno! <laughs> Why? Why is the world so hard on all the little one legged creatures? Burn me in the front oh, line, son. Thanks. I'm gonna be a four star general someday. <laughs> no! Why did I even put that on the board? <laughs> no ghost, <laughs> Oh. Oh, hmm. keep trying. Oh, that's interesting. I wonder if the DVD ROM version has achievements. I don't know. Some games did. Hmm. There. Hmm. Maybe we, since we haven't seen Code Z, he's the one we want. Um, now we'll have to flip it again. Well, let's try putting it in his display. Aha! The balance of power has shifted! Run the draft again. Okay. And welcome back, you hopes. And roll them. Yo, little Johnny Benedetto. <laughs> you always wanted to be like your brother Frank. Well, I'm not gonna let you die <laughs> like Frank. The tragedy ends here. No goes to a blow. Oh, keep trying. One over. I think if we put it in the country display. It'll bring up Coach Z. Should we ask why all the appliances are named De Benedetto? <laughs> Aha! The balance of power! Why don't you reinstate the draft? And welcome back, you hope. See if I got it right. Hank the Tank Benedetto? Man, these Benedettos are really hogging the wheel. <laughs> Sorry, Hank. We need mm. you on the home front, keeping the rations fresh. No goes to a blow. Oh, keep trying. I think I'll we'll have to put it in the Poopsmith's display. Oh, the lands will be uh, marked. Aha! The balance of. And if it's not Coach Z, we'll just keep doing it. Man, maybe we'll get the waffle iron. You should run that draft again before it's too late. We may already be too late. And welcome back to Hopes of Pants Peacetime Draft Stravaganza. Let's see who's today's lucky winner. And the lucky winner is Coach Z. Hey. Really? I never won anything before in my life. Recruit, are you willing to put your life and Coach some cool camos piece. on the line to defend my country? I think they've all overbid. One dollar. One dollar. Close enough. <laughs> Welcome to the home, Stormy Soldier. Hmm. And if he's on the front lines, is he going to be on the home front? Are you ready to put your life on the line for Strong Patia? Put my life on the line? I thought this was the ROTC! <laughs> oh. And what, pray tell, do you think that stands for? Relaxation of the coach! <laughs> <laughs> hmm. What's the situation back in Cochnia? 
Rebels invaded and changed the scoreboard to spell dirty words if you look <laughs> at it upside down. It's a madhouse. We should go there and look at it upside down. What's that? Oh, just a bush. What's the state of the home starming? Does that look like five soldiers to you, Private? We could use some more strong battalion allies to thicken up our watery wanks. Hmm. Okay, we'll have to go. I bet Marzipan would like it if you showed a little gumption and made your own bad decisions. <laughs> I don't know about that. I better go ask her first. <laughs> Groan. Never mind. Come on, Homestar. Strong Batty is where all the cool people are. Cool people are my favorite kind of people. They know all the latest fads. But, um, we're happy with our independence. <laughs> you certainly sound happy. Hmm. I assume... We can't just convince some of these guys. Ah, good old lug nut and squeak. Reunited under the flag of Strong Badia. I miss you so! I still think the cheat sounds like he's choking. Got any cool combo moves you could teach the troop? The 12 point ex and they just all say the same things. So, dump tenant, ready to be the battle's first casualty? You hush. I'm here to provide moral morale for the troops. Well, I guess you do make everyone else look leaner and meaner by comparison. Mm hmm. It's something valuable. And... We need to make Strong Sad think he's can't understand the language. And offering Bubs the samurai sword. Maybe you'd consider that valuable. And maybe we won't need it to slice off any more tarantula heads. I don't want to dull the mighty sword. I don't. shipment of organs in. What do you give me for this razor-sharp samurai sword, Bubs? You know what Bob Bob would do if he caught me selling those weapons? You gotta give me something a little less dangerous. Like stolen organs. <laughs> hmm. I wonder if we can convince Strong Sad that we need to operate on him and remove his pretendix. Shouldn't be too hard of an operation considering it doesn't exist. Then what will we use for a fake organ? Hmm. <clears throat> Hmm. 
the moon in the sky, a gentle breeze, the waves lapping the shore, and a pile of flaming skulls. It's downright homey. And the pile of flaming skulls. Downright homey. What was... What's that? If elected evil emperor, I promise a flaming skull. All that the souvenir that. flag from country, <laughs> as exquisitely crafted as the real thing, <laughs> right down to the drool stain. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, that's something. Nothing interesting. I hmm. already looked under there. There'd be something in. Nothing hmm. interesting. All right, see. Lumpy, we've got to go Lumpy annex some more countries if we're gonna attack the of town. Wherever you go, I will follow, my liege. Uh, don't call me my liege. Hmm. Don't have anything in here, do we? And we can check our email, though. Yeah, there were a couple more. Hey, Strongbad! What do the rest of the on point kings do when you're not hanging out with them? And are you still looking for new members? Lloyd Reno! The on point kings is a pretty exclusive group. The toughest of the tough, the coolest of the cool, and the somethingest of the something. That pretty much rules out guys in Reno named Lloyd. <laughs> we'll keep your resume crumpled up and stuffed down Strongman's tube socks, though. As for what the cheat and Strongman do when I'm not around, I imagine they sit around discussing whatever cool thing I did or said or sat on earlier that day. Those guys have the unspoken bond of lifelong friends. Which is good, because speaking isn't either of their strong suits. <laughs> Too true. Dear citizen, this message is to inform you of the new email tax, effective immediately <laughs> and retroactively in the form of one creamy thing snack cake per message sent or received, including this one. Please make a note of it. Violators will be persecuted. Your ruler for eternity, the king of town. P.S. Direct all complaints to my hinder. <laughs> I still say the wording of that message is legally vague. Also, we didn't see it until after we'd received an email. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, Rush Pirate. Yeah, it's the Strong Bad email. How are you doing tonight? And you guys should check out Rush Pirate's stream. He's a. Fellow retro streamer plays a lot of adventures. Hey, and Dangerous Dave. Welcome in. How are you doing tonight? Oh yeah, Star Wars Shadows of the Empire. For the N64, was it? That looked fun. Hmm. <clears throat> Looked in the cereal. Oh yeah, my pleasure. Treat commandos, those are a delicious part of this ridiculous breakfast. <laughs> hey. Oh, that's good, dangerous, Dave. 
I'm doing pretty well, thanks. <clears throat> and a decent weekend, not productive enough. But I'm still very much enjoying this game. Oh yeah, my pleasure. Hmm. I haven't figured out... I'm not figuring out what to do here. So now there's nothing else in the basement. <laughs> I'll take the metal detector for a quick spin around the yard. It's a priceless treasure from an ancient civilization! And a great way to get organized for back to school! Mm -hmm. A priceless treasure, you say? We should use this everywhere. Well, not indoors. It's all around there. <clears throat> Let's see if Bubs will take this. to the black market. This is a priceless artifact, apparently. I gotta be careful with it. <laughs> On the risky... Oh, risk episode, right. <laughs> yeah, the maps and minions are the... <laughs> they called it. Yeah, it, it's been great fun. Love the fake newsreel whenever you conquer a country. This artifact, apparently. I gotta be careful with it. Oh, seriously? This is a price. This is a price. Okay, well. Yeah, I see. Only wants organs. Mm. What would that binder be useful for? Eh. <laughs> You played through this, uh, the game Rush Pirate. I must, well, I guess it is a series, a mini series of games. Can you go straight across? No, you got a circle. Entry we've already done. <clears> hmm. <throat> <clears throat> You never feel good, strong, sad. That work for Teen Girl Squad too. <laughs> Alien. Hmm. There's nothing else. Nah, that's as far as we can go. I hope I didn't catch something. You Maybe I something. should start treating Homsar like I do Homestar. Not a lot, hmm. and pretend you understand what he's saying. Uh, I hope 
I didn't catch something. Can you make anything out of this ancient writing, Strong Sad? Oh, all that's written in the Hamsar language. No one knows how to speak oh. or read it. Maybe I should start treating Hamsar like I do Homestar. Not a lot and pretend you understand what he's saying. I'm guessing the game is giving us a hint here. What is the deal with that rock with the glowy popsicle sticking out of it? Well, try some cake on makeup from yesteryear. They're saying the same things. Ah, bro. Sign me up for soccer class, Deborah. What are you doing, Strong Bad? Ah, mm. save room for the laugh track, Locash. I can't understand what you guys are saying. I'm a fresh type, if you see what I mean. <laughs> oh, can't understand language. That's one oh of the boy. symptoms. I knew it. It's pretenditis. I knew it. I gotta find a doctor. Medic. That was quick. <laughs> Turns out they've got subsidized health care here, and they let me keep my pretendix in a jar. Oh man, no fair! I've been trying to have my pancreas jarred up for years! <laughs> so, I guess we're not going to ask who the doctor was, or how he removed something that didn't exist from Strong Sad, but we now have an hey, internal organ. Correction! It was yours. Maybe you should have gotten more pretend fiber in your diet if it was so dang important to you. <laughs> pretend fiber gives me real tapeworms. <laughs> well, then you'd better not eat me more pretend fiber, yes. Oh, not getting enough pretend fiber give you no tapeworms or unreal tapeworms. Yes, welcome to twitch.tv slash purblindgamer, where you can trade internal organs, or at least I can, on the black market, of course. Is that what I think it is? Or depends what you think it is. <laughs> Jar of Grandma's homemade gribble dangs. Uh, no. It's <laughs> Strong Sense Pretendix. A real life Pretendix. Even better. I'll trade you for it. No questions asked. <laughs> what will you give me for it? For one that big, anything I got in stock. Which is just this broken piece of an old pot. Hmm. Not a Did fact. I just get ripped off? I said no questions asked. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Is this going to take much longer? You're my cultural advisor. Is this busted pot worth anything? Whoa, that's an ancient artifact from the knock-knock joke about jogging suits era. <laughs> I'd give my left arm for something that valuable. Well, if you'd told me that earlier, I wouldn't have gone to the trouble of stealing your pretendix. <laughs> we'll never get out of here until you help me translate what this goon's saying. I'm a knock-knock joke about jogging suits. Mm -hmm. I told you, Strong Bad, oh, okay. nobody's ever been able to translate Hamsar's quote-unquote language. Archaeologists believe a combination of ancient artifacts may be the key, but no one's ever well, found we've, them. We've got two ancient artifacts now, and we know one's from the time period that this creature seems to be from. Hello, Homsar. You're a total crackpot. I think this pottery <laughs> shard belongs to you. 
There hotel coupons for dinner again? Is that rock just shift? Oh, yeah, that rock's always shifting. You know what this thing's for, Homsar? There hotel coupons for dinner again? Hmm. I guess we should go and dig up more artifacts. Hmm. We've already gotten ones from here. I keep wondering if that cave painting is a hint, but I can't figure out what that thing is behind the cinder block. I thought it was a mailbox. Looks like Hamsar's written language is every bit as easy to understand as the spoken one. Wait, Looks it? like Hamsar's written language is every bit as easy to understand as the spoken one. Wait. Could it be the cinder block? Let's see if that could be the Looks whale. Looks like Hamsar's written language is every bit as easy to understand as the spoken one. No, it looks like the mailbox. I just saw the other thing and I was thinking, could that be the stick? Can we go back home now? Well, we'll try another trot around the sub, the strong baddie in region and see. Then we can dig it up. <laughs> hmm. Do you have any souvenirs from the Hamsar Reservation? They're buried all over the place if you know where to look. Yeah. Okay. Do you have any souvenirs from Strong Mad's country? Country? They're a primitive, warlike person. Not too big on souvenirs. I got some wadded up balls of paper and a macaroni sculpture of the cheat if you want them. I've seen Strong Mad's attempts at arts and crap. I'll pass. <laughs> okay. Get rid of that cinder block. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Well, well, let me go behind it. But still, nothing. Some kind of grotelated tuning fork. <laughs> I 
I'll just... Nah. I think that was a mailbox. I think I might. <laughs> they don't forget to lick the wounds. Supersize that with a monkey's paw? Uh, no thanks. <laughs> if it's like from some long forgotten fast food restaurant, I'm guessing. And do we have enough, actually? Let's. I gotta get back to treasure hunting. Uh, yeah. There's untold riches all over the place. Or at I least, know. sort of told riches. Oh, well, okay. I guess we'll do some more hunting then. How does this game keep giving me hints when I need them? This game knows too much. Kind of near the cinder block. Oh yeah, Grandpa's old war medals. Ah, oh, they didn't grow into an undead soldier. <laughs> That's... That's I gotta get back to treasure hunting. Thing. There's untold riches all over the place. We got or at it. least we got sort it. of told riches. all the ground carefully enough. the rust on this thing. It's gotta be ancient. An ancient power strip. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> yeah, we, we just dug through the wood. See, there's bits of grass. Know, then, let's see if that's everything we need, though. Is this going to take much longer? Well, you yapping about it won't make it take less time, I'll tell you that. Need a spare outlet, Floatyman? <laughs> uh, hotel coupons hmm. for dinner again? He has those a lot. This look familiar to you, Homsar? Uh, hotel coupons for dinner again? Hmm. Is it the same thing no matter what? Um. Hmm. <clears throat> I can't combine them, right? Oh wait, maybe we're supposed to put them on the rock. A weird rock with popsicle crystals and a suspiciously obvious hole in the top. <laughs> hmm, combine them there. After all the crap I went through to get this, I'm not giving it to just anybody. Whoa! 
That made me feel a little vibracious. I gotta do that again. <laughs> vibracious. And again. Stick a fork in it. Tuning fork, that is. Oh, there we go. That's gotta be all of them. I understand <laughs> everything now. It's all so simple. It was the pride of the peaches. Wow, that was vibracious <laughs> and flotatious. <laughs> Was Homsar a character from the cartoons? I don't remember him, but then it has been years. Hello, strong bad. What's the haps? <laughs> hey, I can understand you now. Your voice is so soothing. Thank you. I do radio ads for local jewelry and watch repair shops. I'm sure you have many Ooh. questions. Ask away. How can they understand you when you do? Those radio ads for local jewelry and watch shops. Do you want to join Strong Badia and help overthrow the of town off a cliff? Why <laughs> should my people risk open war for you and your considerable style? We're not gonna risk war. We're gonna start one. Listen to what <laughs> that royal boil did to me. First, he wrinkled the top of the breads and cereals grew. My baseboards are full of chicken sticks. What? <laughs> and he's really fat and stupid. Mm. Then I have no choice. We will join Strong Badia. First for some sandwiches, then to die side by side in battle. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Nobody said anything about dying. <laughs> but first you must complete the three ancient tasks of People great die. boredom. What? No, man, just messing with you. Let's do this like Brutus. <laughs> just messing with you. How does that popsicle stand work anyway? You have reassembled the sacred elemental items of collection. Ordinarily, you would have to face a punishingly difficult mm. final dungeon and disappointing end cutscene. <laughs> But the ancient prophecy foretold of a young boy that would one day come to usher in a new era of- All right, shut up, filibuster. <laughs> Never would have asked if I'd known you were such a windbag. It's too bad. You're very rude. You know that, don't you? Ah, ah, ah. I'm the old Jalboa jump shot. Why are you talking gibberish, strong bad? You sound like a two years old boy. <laughs> Ah, 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 I'm the old Jalboa jump shot. I'm just the same thing. Why are you talking? All right, put on your dancing shoes, Hamsar. Time to make a move on the castle. <laughs> I will follow you, my brother. And these are my dancing shoes. <laughs> but first, we must perform the ancient sacred ceremony my uncle Chet taught me when I was a kid. I've always <laughs> wanted to try it. Is it gonna take long or hurt? Hurt long. <laughs> Relax. Let the energy build. Join me in the summoning song. Musical number. Fantastic! He's back to abnormal. Let's get out of here, strong side. I can't wait to journal about the nightmares I'm gonna have from this experience. Ooh, he's walking. At Dark Continent, the Hamsar Preservation. Who else could bring modern conveniences to this backwards land other than the intrepid emancipator, Strong Man? Welcome to the 20th century, Hamsar. Raised by a cup of coffee, indeed. 
starting Star, to think these aren't entirely serious. I told you I don't like you having all your friends over to watch the game and plan paramilitary operations without asking me first. <laughs> oh, you granola bars are all the same, <laughs> except for the ones with chocolate chips. You enjoy your freedom to not wash your hair and play hacky sack, but aren't willing to put an orange bowl on your head and wave a spoon <laughs> around. Okay, that is it, Homestar. We are through. Again. Ugh. Fine. Battle. Your side is East Mars' star, and my side is East Home Japan. Midway along the border, we'll set up checkpoint the cheek. Why don't you just make your own country at your house? <laughs> No way! There's a squirrel in the attic that I sometimes think is a spooky ghost. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, why, maggots? I tell. You call this a home star, me? Somebody's gonna have to whip these wastes of panty wastes into shape. Take it away, your dryness. Just let me know when you want to start attacking the castle. Mm. Training montage. They will be expecting a well-organized and disciplined invasion force. So, we'll have surprise on our side. <laughs> this man will be our finest hour. Ugh, I hope this doesn't take an hour. Oh, oh wait, I'm actually supposed to be doing We must things. strike the castle with back alley surgical precision. Shape up, Private! Oh, sorry, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to die, soldier? Hmm, well... <laughs> I have something to share with the rest of the class? I'm the local Leroy. Am I boring you, Private? <laughs> Do you want to die? Do I make myself clear? Sorry, yes, sir. On to the castle! Death to the off town! Viva la revelation! revelation. My dearest Marzipan, the siege on the castle continues. We are forever surrounded by the brown stench of war and the constant beige screaming. Always the beige screaming. We have suffered great losses. The cheat was the first to turn tail and join the enemy, quickly followed by the traitorous Coach Z, which incidentally is his new rap name. I've done things I'm not proud of. I can only dream of the day when this madness ends and I can return to your ahem, arms once again. Your lovable cuddliness, Homestar Waddle. Don't be stupid, Homestar. Okay. The siege lasted five <laughs> minutes, and that was a week ago. It was like the king of town wanted to give up. The home Starby sure showed him a thing or twelve. Whatever. I just wanted to tell you again to pick up your stupid draft wheel from my house. I need the yard for my down with the king rally. Now I'm going back down to protest you slash everything you stand for. <laughs> okay, Marzy Pig, call me. Oh, oh, how could king. I have known being king of town would suck so many eggs? Right, how couldn't I have known? There, there, my liege. That emptiness you feel inside, I want you to take that and cram it full of chimichangas. What? Gravy, turkey legs, and cocoa butter. Three wacky private eyes on a mixed-up course towards mayhem. Sunday nights this fall. <laughs> The of Town's household hint number 43. Keep a spare beard in your fridge's dairy <laughs> section to take the edge off that late summer heat. Hmm. Didn't know beards took the edge off late summer heat. I should grow one. No more sitting on that thing. I'm starting to get bed sores and freezer burn. This has been the most boring week I ever spent not in a coma. I gotta get out of this job. Never, my liege. The Empire needs you to rule. It is your destiny. <laughs> oh, my destiny. Why would anyone want to be king? No email, no video games, nothing but totally ignoring people's complaints and concerns. 
You'll feel better after your cheese and gravy bath. <laughs> I told you already. Stop with all the food, mate. But you need to keep up your strength to watch your kingdom wither and decay into oblivion. <laughs> uh, or I could use my strength to prevent that. Tell the castle guard to let me out of this place. That's impossible, sire. There are far too many enemies of the state out there. The revolutionaries would try to kick you off the throne. Or worse, they might try to go pants you. Dispatch a deep-fried carrier pigeon to the king of town. Tell him he can have his old job back. The of town is quite happy with his new life. Playing video games and answering your emails. <laughs> Dear Strongtown, have you ever thought about becoming a crime-stopping astronaut with a laser rifle for a hand? Sincerely, John Fingerbottom, Passaic, New Jersey. Hmm. No, no, Mr. Fingerbottom, I can't say that I have. Thanks for writing, though. What? He didn't even make fun of the name! But he's gotten quite popular. Fark links to him every week. Who? Who's Fark? Probably something I should know, but don't. Mm -hmm. What is that? Oh, maps and minions deluxe. Get out of Oft town! The king had his own deluxe edition Old and Earth Maps and Minions board with the pewter mm -hmm. game pieces. He used his for a map as well. We are like two sides <laughs> of the same coin, except <laughs> his side is all bloated and dripping with grease. The empire has grown much since your victory, my liege. Everybody want to be part of Strong Badia. Well, A, I don't want them to, and two, if the you call me that crack. again, my liege is gonna rearrange <laughs> your face! From here I can give orders to the entire Homest Army. All three of them. No need, sire. Situation is completely under control. Or sitch is comp und troll, if you're short on time. Don't trouble yourself with petty troop movements, your grace. Dog <laughs> Oh man, I can't even tell my lowly peons what to do anymore. <laughs> You're telling me what to do. This unlit candle holder could be my one ticket out of this prison. No, wait, I'm wrong. It's just decoration. <laughs> one never can tell. Whoa, deja vu. That fish reminds me of something. That time we fit the cheat in Strong Mad's mouth? No, oh, that's not it. It's all skeleton. I wonder if that's a reference to those, like, bone games that Telltale Games did before this. Hmm. What's on? Oh, bear. Stupid rock. bear! He should have known to hide his food in trees to avoid King of Town attacks! <laughs> what are you doing, Homestar? Castle is secured, your travesty! <laughs> I'm sick of being king. You want to take over, Homestar? Oh, hex no. Who want that dumb old job? <laughs> Nothing to do except sit around this dankum old castle. <laughs> you have to be some kind of idiot to want to be king of town. Oh, I forgot. Your <laughs> mom was king of town, wasn't she? <laughs> yes, uh, my mother. I've been telling you for a week now. We don't need the Homestar me anymore. You think you're safe? Is that it? Is that it? Freedom isn't free. Freedom's dumb. What if some attractive robotic rabbit hobbled in here with a bunch of TNT strapped to her back, trying to kiss you? Then where would you be, huh? Probably oh, back right. at home throwing darts at Strong Sad and not talking to a moron. That's what I thought, Ted Hut. <laughs> but, but talking to Homestar is so much fun. Where's the cheat? That's it? I don't want to hear that traitor's name again. <laughs> Nobody runs out on the home, Stormy. Except the cheat, Kozi and Pompa. Those Pompa big sail havels? They didn't run out. They got dishonorably discharged for running out on the home, Stormy. <laughs> oh, no, Slop Cheat! <laughs> Those big sail havers. Where'd the old king of town go? Pope was last spotted at a fellow by the name of Strong Bad's house. I got my eye on him. I'll let you know if he starts still frying up any trouble. <laughs> uh, 
A king of town ate the candles but left the flames. <laughs> that guy's a real professional. <laughs> Step aside, strong man. I gotta get out of this place. Too dangerous! <laughs> Trapped in my own castle! Hmm. Oh good, this is part of my castle that I can access. <laughs> Let's see. Ye. Ye rogue. Confing. I don't get it. The elf down shouldn't leave his lapion. It'll burn the whole castle down. Recipes and snack ideas from Peasant's Quest. <laughs> the King of Town can even make computer games boring. I think Peasant's Quest was a real game they had on their website. Yeah, I think it was a parody of King's Quest. The Elf Town must have put an emergency crown in here in case of a power outage. <laughs> the Snacky 186? I've seen this piece of crap on late night infomercials. I never knew it was a computer. <laughs> Sent email. A strong battle was to tell us how the King of Town has ever passed, and the Roy T. Castle Hill! So it was all an elaborate ruse to trick you into taking over his empire! <laughs> an elaborate ruse? That's Would you call it chicanery? I actually might, yes. Oh, that's it! I draw the line of chicanery! The of town? You're going of down! You can't mean! I'm getting the King of Town out of my house and back on this Energy Star compliant throne! <laughs> oh boy. I thought we were almost done. This episode must be almost done. Let me go, strong man. No can do. Hmm. Well, maybe we'll have to send him an email. Since he's using our email, we'll use his email. The OT's computer looks like it was designed for a mix between three-year-olds and train car hobos. <laughs> Let's see if I can figure this thing out. Hmm, sent mail and templates. Dear citizen, this message is to inform you of the new email tax, effective immediately and retroactively oh, that's the in the same form one. of one creamy will be persecuted. Your ruler for eternity. Hey, strong bad, what's the dumbest law the king of town? Your pal, Roy T. Castle Hill. You think you're so smart, king of town? We'll see who's the smartest. Or smarter, more smartest. Mm. More smarterest. Dear sirs, I believe I requested a gravy-filled IV drip from your so-called medical dining facility over 12 minutes ago. It still has not arrived. I trust I don't need to remind you about the cost of a three-piece malpractice suit <laughs> threateningly the king of town. Man, even the king of town can't get decent customer service. <laughs> Gravy-filled IV drip sounds awful. You wouldn't be able to taste the gravy. What? The king doesn't even type out his own emails? Talk about lazy. How am I supposed to pick items from a drop-down list with boxing gloves on? Typing I can handle. Don't ask me how. <laughs> hmm. 
to blank, please send blank of your slobber inducing blank to the castle immediately. I'm frickin' dying here. There's an extra tuppence in it for you <laughs> if you hurry. Your hungriest customer, the king of town. Hmm. For immediate release, blank, seeks a buffalo wing eating partner. Must enjoy, blank, and not exercising. Ability to prepare country fried, blank, a definite plus. No, blank, contact Big K at the castle with the goofy face. Hmm. Hmm. Gastronomic. <laughs> I think that's my favorite. Single white gastronomon arc. Hmm. Creamy ding snack cakes. Country fried. Hmm. Skillet fried swamp marmots. Anyone in chat had skillet fried swamp marmots? Creamy dang snack cakes. <laughs> yeah, it's probably not that. No go disease for real this time. Walking Dead. <laughs> I wonder if this was before they announced that they were doing the Walking Dead game. No, I think it was after. Eh, who knows. Nutritionistas. <laughs> Hmm. To blank, by royal decree, we hereby enact a tax on blank in the amount of blank bucks per oh, item, dear. effective immediately and retroactively. Pay up or oh, be yeah. prosecuted. Sincerely, oh, your kingy. How are you doing tonight? You guys should check out Caffeine and Diabetic. Who? There's a bunch of the. Uh, Older games, not quite as old as some of the weird shit I play. Well, no, you're also partial to those GameCube games, huh? I hope you're having a good Sunday night, Caffeine Diabetic. Oh, Star Wars Episode 3. I haven't played that one. So many Star Wars games I haven't played. Mm hmm. Randomly. Oh, this series, the Sam and Max games? Or not? Sam and Max. <laughs> Strong, bad, is a cool game for attractive people. Oh, you're welcome. It might even be on the Wii. It'd be, it'd be harder to do point click adventures on that. But I never had a Wii, so. Strong, bad, ad. Strong, bad, I was bad intended house, to get a Wii rats. at some point. <laughs> Wait, I still can.
Hmm. Creamy dang snack cakes. Forty million, forty thousand, and forty four bucks per item. <laughs> oh, those are the only options. Of town at Strong Bad's house, I'm guessing. The of town at Strong Bad's house. Dot res. Creamy ding snack cakes. House elves. Forty million, forty thousand, and forty four. <laughs> The of town at strongbadshouse.res. By royal decree, we hereby enact a tax on creamy ding snack cakes in the amount of 40 million, 40,000, and 44 bucks per item. Effective immediately and retroactively. <laughs> yeah. Pay up or be prosecuted. Sincerely, your kingy. What? You might as well put a tax on the laughter of a child or the thin film yeah. that forms this on is gravy hilarious. when it sits out too long. <laughs> this time he's gone too far. This means war. Or war. <laughs> yeah, he was saying something like that earlier. Who wants to be king, sitting around on an energy star fish on throne, eating things and ignoring everybody's requests? Ah, oh, it's so boring. We got him on the one, Chayef! The puny rebels are no match for the shambling level two troll viathan that is the home star me, my liege. Mm, you're troll right. Viathan. Also, stop calling me that. <laughs> These are the guys who really need my help. On to the castle, men! I'm taking back what's mine! <laughs> where, where did I leave that castle again? Oh, just follow my lead. <laughs> Shit. Have I mentioned sometime early in this stream, perhaps, that I'm not good at strategy games? The irony. Now I'm playing one. <clears throat> well, maybe this is more tactical than strategy. I don't know. <clears throat> oh, help. This is useful. Hmm. Hmm. I begin to move. I can move each once per turn. <clears> hmm. <throat> hmm. Poopsmith's fog of war. Hmm. <clears throat> That's a rich, juicy odor. <laughs> mm 
Hmm. Wait, Homsar's on their side too? Yeah. It's about everybody turned traitor. Everybody. Lost sight of the puppet trader. Everything is hopeless. I had dreams for a great country, only to see them smashed by a cruel dictator. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Okay. And the poop smith generates a new fog each turn. Oh, the cheat's still alive. of reaching the castle. Why not just give up? We're all going to wither and die anyway. <laughs> what does it all mean? I give up. Showtime! Wins! <laughs> <laughs> what a way to achieve victory. Press you to know you're doomed to failure? No, no thanks, officer. I've got one big round one. What does that even mean? <laughs> what does that even I mean? a long way back from nap time. I don't understand you. Draw! <laughs> I'm on Recard, Chief. We'll find those Webble Webbles. <laughs> oh, yeah, strong man can move too. point. <laughs> Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I'm just always trying to keep the king in the fog. Here 
risky. <laughs> We're all pawns, really, in a tragic game of death to be repeated over and over again throughout history. No one can beat Strong Sad. Strong Sad wins! I don't know if I can ever beat any of them. <laughs> hmm. Lost sight of the Puppet Trader! Monster Runner! Oh. Goats! Fair enough. I'll go. <laughs> Bone Star Runner wins. Goat C. We're all going to fail. Why not just give up? Oh, jeez, you're right. What am I doing with my life? <laughs> Coach the you're utterly worthless. Drive Homestar back. Homestar runner! Homestar! Is that all you got, you little crab cake? I left <laughs> my bacon at the tennis patch. Homestar runner! <laughs> King's boxed in. I wonder if I should just restart. I don't know. Oh, not the off time. Born up a die! You're no match for the home, Stormy! The battle is lost! Back to Strong Barrier! The King of Town! Oh. Defeated! Oh. <laughs> oh, that's neat, Catherine Diabetic. Yeah. Doesn't mean I'm surprised, but um, hey, that's great that point and click adventures are on consoles like the Wii. Especially such good ones as these. <laughs> yeah. This was. What are the somewhat earlier Telltale Games ones? I mean, who owns it? Don't let me click on anything. Oh, there we are. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Hmm. Hmm. Everything is hopeless. I had dreams for a great country.
Locked in. At least get them locked in the draw. Doesn't it depress you to know you're doomed to failure? No, no thanks, officer. I've got one big round one. What does that even mean? I'm the long way back from nap time. I don't understand you. No. Lost sight of the puppet trader. Tested trees, welcome in. Yeah, strong bad. <laughs> I know, you can't read all the funny names easily. <laughs> but, eh, you can still move. There's one army's forward and another army's backward, as the saying goes. <laughs> but, how are you doing tonight, trees? <laughs> Had the following Homsar. Maybe. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Yeah. Homsar runner! Goat! <laughs> see! George! Take that! Alright, I'm leaving already. You'd think the guy with hands would have the upper Well hand. Goat see We're all going to fail. Why not just give up? Oh jeez, you're right. What am I doing with my life? Okay. Deal with strong mad. Oh yeah, that's strong sad. And he, he is pretty depressed all the time. Side of the puppetrader. Yeah. Yes. Star runner. Is that all you got, you little crab cake? <laughs> I wonder if anyone can beat Home Star runner. runner. Really? Yeah, yeah. Strong tag! Wins! Hmm. Strategy. Okay, I can still keep this king in the cloud. I send Poopsmith here. 
Let's send the king here. Hey, he's got a raid. Welcome in, everybody. Hey, Yaden, thank you so much for the raid. Really kind of you. How are you doing tonight? Welcome in, everyone. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Purblind Gamer. I'm a legally blind retro and variety streamer who specializes in horror games, but right now we're playing Strong Bad's Cool Game for Attractive People, which is an excellent piece of comedy from Telltale Games. And you guys should check out Yaden, who's a, a professional wrestler who streams a lot of some wrestling content and some retro games, including action and RPGs. What are you playing tonight? Hey, welcome in, Sintara Ravenfeather and a Rocky Mountain Pro, and oh, just your average Jen. Welcome in, everybody. Great to have you guys here. We're pretty close to the end of the stream right now, or the end of the game, I think, but we're on this tough strategy game. <laughs> oh, I have no mouth and I must scream. One of the darkest games ever made, I hear. But I trust it's suitably awesome. That's one of those games I've been meaning to play for years. How have you been enjoying it? <laughs> hmm. Basically, we're trying to get the king, who we recently deposed, back into the castle because the job of being king sucks. And we don't want to do it anymore. So we're having his... controlling his rebels and trying to have them defeat our troops. It's a very weird game based on a series of Flash cartoons. I don't know if anybody's familiar with Homestar Runner. Mm -hmm. Fox. If he goes after him and drives him back, the king will be cut off. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, and you've read the book too. Well, oh, I'm glad you're glad you're enjoying it. Mm -hmm. And then maybe I should leave him behind the king, because he's the only one that I know of who can actually beat Strong Sad. And I Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Humor. Star Runner! Goat C! Fair enough. I'll go. Star Runner! Wait! Twitch viewer. Twitch viewer. Oh, Centaur Ravenfeather. Thank you so much for the follow. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the community. Everything is hopeless. I had dreams for a great country, only to see them smashed by a cruel dictator. No! <laughs> no! I was saying earlier, it was funny, I was talking about this earlier, like at the start of the stream, about how I'm not good at strategy games. And then suddenly this game turns into one. You little crab cake. I left my bacon at the tennis patch. <laughs> Four star runner mm. wins. Mm. 
I wonder if the cheat can defeat Homestar Runner. Uh, Try it. Mm -hmm. Lost sight of the pooper trader. I'll have to get past Strong Mad, and that'll be quite difficult. Strong Mad, fighters! That was bad. We're all pawns, re. Crusader Kings 3. Is that what this game is like? I figured it was some well-known strategy game. But I hardly played any of those. Do you play some strategy games? Uh, Tested Trees? Yeah, this, this game is... This game is interesting. It keeps throwing funny things and different changes, different things that change it up. It all. Oh, Crusader Sing Kings has waifu stuff going on? I don't think this game does. Never even tried any of them. Yeah, we can't. Loses. Mm. We'll see how it turns out. I've got the of town in my sights. I think each character with each character, um, it'll have the same dialogue. Hmm. The strong man just patrols. <laughs> yeah, it's. I mean, it doesn't make sense. It's like. I guess each each of the enemy characters just has one character that can defeat them. Shoot, if the treat cheat defeats Strong Mad, then we'll push him right back towards the king. I think it's just supposed to be another silly thing, you know, I'd reinforce the idea that you're playing as the opposite character's side now. Because we're, currently we're playing as the guy who deposed the king and is now trying to get the king back into the castle. It, it's weird. Like 
Hmm. I think we saw it from the right side up earlier for a little while, but yeah, it would be kind of nice so we could read all the f <laughs> Like there's an area just called place, it looks like. I'm on Recon, Chief. We'll find those rebel webbles. Oh, oh. strong man can do that. Okay, well. The king of town! I regret everything! Whoa! Oh dear! Retreat! Everyone retreat! The king of town! Defeated! Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Okay, we're continuing. Or re restarting, effectively. We'll need Coach Z here, something to attack Strong Mad. Place. Well, earlier there was a country called Country, so. Nothing surprises me at this point. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Yeah, have any of you guys read, uh, seen the Home Star Runner cartoons? Since I'm rushing forward while I'm still learning the rules. Lost side of the perpetrator! We're learning who can defeat who. Hmm. See how the cheat fares. Huh? 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 A rakish and not at all effeminate beret. Now I can look just like my favorite pasty white beat poets. <laughs> uh, I mean my favorite shady anarchist revolutionaries. <laughs> Thanks to cheat. <laughs> Lots of random Easter eggs and unlockables in this game. That'll probably attack the coach. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? <laughs> You're no match for the home stormy. <laughs> well, once something other than Strong Bat is kicking the cheat.
I'll keep him busy. Lost die to the puppet trader. Heat goes up against strong mad. I've got the of town in my sights. Yeah. Oh, let's see what he has to say. The king of town! Born up and die! You have no hope of reaching the castle. Why not no. just give up? We're all going to <laughs> wither and die anyway. Oh dear! Retreat! Everyone retreat! <laughs> oh, how can we persevere in the face of that? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Try and rush the cheat and code to Z forward so I at least know. If one of them can defeat Strong Mad. The puppet trader. Hmm. Keep him busy. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Uh 
Oh well. Lost sight of the puppet trader. How many of you guys played many games like this? These are strategy, kind of like board games. If I don't move him, will Strong move Sad not move either? We'll see. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh. And yeah, that's quite useful. It holds. Hello, Diddies. How are you doing tonight? Lost sight of the puppet trader. You guys should check out Hell of Diddies, who seems a lot more modern games, fully 3D RPGs and such. Uh, 9 a.m. evening. Oh, you do. I used to love these cartoons too, although I haven't watched them in a long time. Have you played this game before? Anything. Oh, Baldur's Gate. I know that's supposed to be a classic. Because they, was, they had a poster or something for that in this game, and they had. Yeah, and they have Trogdor the Burninator appear as graphics in this game, too. I know, this game came out from um, Telltale Games back in 2009. And I was lucky enough to get a cheap DVD ROM copy of it sometime back. But yeah, it's, this has had great humor. So, I'm happy. Your path now. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Yeah. Between this and Sam and Max Season 1, I really enjoyed Telltale games that I've played. Maybe I should just play every game they ever made. That's not, you know, a card game. Okay. If they're all locked in draws, looks like we'll have a straight shot now. Come on, Homestar, keep following the coach. Hmm. Lost sight of the puppet trader! Then have you played many of their other games? <laughs> Telltale? Where'd he go? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they did. I keep forgetting about that. They did the fifth Monkey Island game. Like, I think it was a little after this one. And 
Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, like the first four. And then, but it's neat they got to do that because I knew it was founded by former LucasArts employees. The King of Town wins! The King has returned. Aha! Caught you red handed, you imitation butter substitute king! Oh no! The King of Town! Come to take back his refrigerated throne! That's right! I exactly. got lots of slurping, smacking, and mere gagging to do! Step aside and I'll let you live! Oh, I don't know! This is a pretty sweet, dank <laughs> castle! Oh, come on! I came all this way! Well, I couldn't give up all this, especially that awesome email tax bringing me so much money! Ah, I'm taking my castle back and repealing that stupid tax. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll just have to go back home and play video games with pajamaed up co-eds. <laughs> Wonder if my new limousine game got delivered yet. <laughs> I sure showed him a thing or... Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, okay. <laughs> Come on, everybody, now. Can't you hear the wind blow? We don't like the king of town. I think I would. People's heads explode. What's I'm the price no musical of freedom? Number. Can you cut me a deal? A crate of wholesale liberty or a justice combo meal? So gather round, hey. your children. Thanks, Listen ladies. to what Thanks, I diabetic. sing. Remember those who went to war All for creamy dings Come on everybody now Can't you hear the wind blow? We don't like the king of town Make the people's heads explode My head. Come on everybody now Can't you hear the wind blow? We don't like Two thousand eight. That was nice. What's the king gotta do to get some chili mac up in here? <laughs> oh, preview of coming attractions. Mmm, tough crowd. <laughs> Baddest of the bands. <laughs> New episode every month. <laughs> the cheat feels no pain. The cheat is not human. We, we don't know what he is. And that's episode two. Scenes from the next episode. <laughs> Quit it! And that was another episode of Strong Bad's Cool Game for Attractive People. It is so much fun. And I kind of like that the puzzles are, these Telltale games, are a little easier than. A lot of other adventure games. Sam and Max hit the road, for instance. That one kind of stumped me sometimes. <laughs> but these, it's easy enough to get through. Yeah. Oh, I highly recommend it, Diddy. So it's, I mean, I've only played two of the five episodes, but... Yeah, it can be found on Steam and GOG and on DVD-ROM, but apparently now they're a little costlier than they once were. Funny how that works with games. <laughs> Yeah. But it's it's been great fun, and I'm, I'm looking forward to continuing it. I think the episodes are a good length for a stream, although... I don't know, that one was a bit longer. Oh wow, yeah. It's a good bit later than I thought it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe next time we'll try and 
and see if we can find all the collectibles within the next episode, or maybe complete the Teen Girl Squad comic. Hmm. Um, I should probably wrap up. It is pretty late here, and I maybe I should do a little more work before I go to bed, or maybe not, since it's still technically the weekend. <laughs> but, uh, give you guys an idea of what's coming up. Um, I stream Sundays and Wednesdays and Saturday, usually Saturday late afternoons and the other days in the evenings. And on Wednesday, we'll be continuing Resident Evil for the GameCube, which I'm making very slow progress on. But hey, we have a shotgun, so new type of weapon for me to not use ammunition for. I'm not saying I'm not enjoying the game. And then Saturday, we have Short Horror Saturday, and I just I don't know what I'll play next Saturday. I might... There's some somewhat interested-looking uh, horror-themed racing game I found. Maybe I'll give that a go. And then on Sunday, we'll continue Sam and Max. Why do I keep doing that, damn it? Not Sam and Max. Strong Bad's cool game for attractive people. Wallace and Gromit meet the Walking Dead. Poker Night at Boneville, I don't know, some telltale things. Wolf Among Minecraft. Yeah. But no, Strong Bad's a cool game. Mm. And, oh yeah, and I mentioned at the start of the stream that we have our first ever community challenge for the channel points set up. And then I realized halfway through stream, my text-to-speech doesn't read that out, so I have no way of seeing if people have actually contributed. I will need to do research on that before the next stream and uh, figure out how to make that work. Seems to be a whole lot of streaming is figuring out how to make things work. Oh, thank you, Techie Rob. And Caffeine Diabetic. Oh, thanks. Okay, so now it'll pop up in my chat if I happen to be looking at OBS, but it won't read it out. It's That's one of my other channel points of words. I'm like, type the name in chat so I know you, uh, so I know you redeemed it, because otherwise I won't necessarily know. I wish speech chat would read the, uh, redemptions out loud. Maybe in a future version. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's at 8% already? Oh shit, I might actually have to play an RTS game. Damn. Oh well, that's what happens. Sometimes the goals get reached. <laughs> eh, well. It'll be fun to watch me suffer through it, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. I'll go ahead and... Oh, I turned off... Yeah. Turned off the Sweet Magnolias thing. Uh, I'll go ahead and find somebody to raid and leave you guys with. <clears throat> See who's still online. Another thing, usually when I start, I'm like, oh, maybe I'll raid them if they're still online when I'm not. When I'm done. And then when I'm done, whoever they are, they usually aren't. Oh yeah, thanks for hanging out, Techie Rob. I hope your meeting goes well. This is, apparently at least Herzog's 5 was the first RTS game ever made, a lot of people think. And it's gotten more of an arcade-style gameplay than a lot of later ones. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although there were, I think there were a couple others for the Genesis. Like, I know there were turn-based strategies, but I, I, I should I say, I don't really know. I know there were tactical ones, and there's some kind of Doom, Dune game for the Genesis. Hmm. And now he's offline. Hmm. I feel like I rated her not that long ago. What's he playing? Marbles. Oh, let's read our friend Matglad. He only has three viewers, and he's playing a medieval, which sounds like some kind of horror game, so you know I like horror. Mm. Oh, okay. So Dune 2 was later. So that was I know that was an early RTS game, but it was on like PC. I don't know if the Dune game on Genesis was the same. Am I making up that there was a Dune game on the Genesis? I'm I may be making things up. You know what? Don't listen to me. I'm not a historian. I just have posters with this bunch of Sega Genesis games in boxes somewhere. And also most other Sega Genesis games. Hmm. I don't think I had anything else to announce. Maybe there'll be more fun stuff to announce coming up. <laughs> hmm. Oh, okay, that's the one. Then I do know medieval. I've seen people play it, which. I liked Heretic a lot. Still haven't played Hexen. I think that's one of those games I've been putting off because I figure I'll like it since about 99 when I found a copy at Half Price Books for $3. Yeah, we'll get to that. <laughs> but um, thank you, everybody who came out. I appreciated it, whether you're chatting or lurking. And, and everybody who came in on the raid, thank you for sticking around through that little dose of uh, strategy. <laughs> You can follow me on Twitch to see when I'm live, and you can follow me on Twitter and MySpace to see stream announcements and polls and other random jokes and musings and things I dump on the social media. And you can find my past VODs on YouTube. So, yeah, I'll be back on Wednesday with more uh, Resident Evil for GameCube. I hope everybody has a good evening and thinks twice before you try to depose any governments and take over. And yeah, say hi to Matt Glad and uh, I gotta go check my email. Ha ha ha.